everybody welcome back to my channel i am super excited that tonight i again have my wonderful friend sharissa from her channel awesome with sharissa <clears throat> welcome 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 back yay hello thank you for so much for having me on yeah i'm excited we've got a fun night scheduled i think right yes i've been tripping over my box um I I want to say I've been tripping over it for about three or four days. I can't remember when I got it, but I I didn't open it. I'm really excited. <laughs> what about you? I know I have a lot of stuff. I'm so excited. Well, we should explain to everybody. So we decided after our last live stream that we wanted to do another one of these unboxings and we thought it might be fun to get something completely different and maybe something neither one of us had any clue. There was, I don't think I had a spoiler information on, I guess I didn't look, I didn't look on the fab fit and fun. So what we did is we ordered, I think they call it a mystery bundle. Am I correct with that? Yes. So we both ordered in one of their online sales, a mystery bundle, and I got mine a couple days ago. Hers took a couple days longer. She's a little farther away. So I am super excited because this is, it's a decent sized box. I mean, it's not, mine isn't real heavy, but it's a big box. So I, I have no idea what's in it. I did have to open my box to make sure that I got everything which you and i both know that my second ship part of it half of it arrived just last night so okay i did have to open <laughs> oh, well i should say i just opened it a few minutes ago but i haven't actually looked in it i just i opened it just to pop the seals and get it ready but it's um it's like behind me here let me grab it so here we go it's big Fab Fit Fun. So yeah, we have Fab Fit Fun, and um, yeah, I mean it's a that's a big box. <laughs> so I literally yes. tripping over it because every time I come down here to my little workspace, uh, I've pretty much about fallen on my face tripping over it, and I'm like, I want to see what's <laughs> in it. I want to see what's in it. So I'm pretty pumped. Um, so yeah, so the other thing yeah. we're going to probably let people know is first of all, please subscribe to both of our channels. If you're new, um, link to Sharissa's channel is in the description. Of course I'm hosting, so this is my channel, but, um, the other thing is we are talking about doing some giveaways, right? You want to tell them what you have planned? I have an entire 2020 Bad Fit Fun Summer Edit Box to give away. It's over $200 worth of value of product. I want to win. And I'm really excited. <laughs> I want to win. <laughs> I love Fab Fit. So that's awesome. So, what are your um, parameters or your rules to qualify for your giveaway? And what's what's the details? So number one, you must be subscribed to both of our channels. Uh, number two, you have to be present here on the live stream in order to qualify to win the editor box. Uh, number three, comment below uh, what your favorite item was that you see on, on this channel tonight, on this, on this live stream. Excellent. Excellent. So those are the three things. That's great. So um, we should mention that we are using a service called La, uh, StreamYard and it is right over, it's on your side of the, <laughs> of the screen. It shows powered by StreamYard. But, so we do have live chat available um, just so that our viewers are aware. You and I will see the live chat a little bit behind because it takes YouTube a second to push it through to StreamYard where you and I see it. So, mm -hmm. um, but if you want to support the channel, um, there's also super chat and super stickers are available. Always appreciate anything like that. Uh, help support the channel It's always appreciated. So um, I guess, are you restricting um, your giveaway to uh, anyone in like, is it open to anyone in the world? Are you keeping it in North America and the US? Are you whatever? 
Any restrictions? Well, um, I would say U.S. for right now, just because of I've been having issues receiving packages from other places. Uh, I don't want to name drop anything, but uh, I would want to keep it within the United States. Okay. Okay. That's good. Yeah. I can hear you very well, but your, your video is quite laggy. So just so you're aware, I hope we don't lose you. It's, it's so laggy on your end too. I like mine's working good and it's lagging over. <laughs> That's good. I could do a stream yard thing. I have a couple things I can try to do here to, yeah. uh, to kind of um, hopefully make sure I'm not eating all, uh, all the bandwidth in, in my, you know, I live out in the sticks. I live out in the country. And so there's only so much bandwidth to go around. <laughs> so sometimes I got to turn a lot of stuff off but <laughs> that improves things. So I turned a couple of um, things that might've been pulling some bandwidth off, but hello, Zula machine travels. Welcome to our live stream. So, um, we are just getting ready to to um, get into our boxes, but um, Teresa, I'm curious when you were thinking you were going to do um, your giveaway. Is it towards the end of the live stream, or are you going to just kind of surprise us when? Or what's your plan, my lady? Well, I was thinking we would both unbox our mystery bundles um, and then dive into the giveaway stuff. I don't know. Okay, I um. I'm going to put up a, a quick live chat chat thing on here, and then I'll put it on the screen so people know um, kind of what the details are. Oop, I, if I can type. Um, okay, so let's see. Does this look right to you, Madeir? Giveaway okay. present to win and subscribe to our channels. Um, also be a uh, located in the U.S., I guess. Okay, so um, the other thing I want to make sure I put in there is that um, if anybody has questions, they can go ahead and pop them in the live stream chat. Um, we will get to them as quick as we can. Um, there we go. Hopefully that that one on there. So before we get into it, um, oh, I'm sorry. Where are you located, Zulu Machine Travels? So tell us what country you're in. We're curious. Um, I also am going to be doing a, a giveaway, so I'm going to be doing a grab bag though, just like we did last time. <laughs> I got my bag of goodies. Oh, South Africa. Beautiful. I would absolutely love to visit and actually pretty nearly anywhere on the African continent, but South Africa would be lovely. So, I mean... I don't know what their restrictions are for mailing packages. I just, I guess I don't know. <laughs> That's the concern is that it's going to be customs and considering, unfortunately, considering how bad the pandemic here is in our country, there could very well be um, some mailing restrictions just due to the fact that our country is not doing real well, <laughs> which is really sad. So, um, yeah. Yeah, that's been a real problem, unfortunately. I've seen a number of the subscription box um, sellers, um, you know, basically saying we would love to offer international, but right now it's just, it's nearly impossible for them because of the, you know, all the restrictions and the because of the pandemic. So that's unfortunate. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. So anyway, um, I'm just checking on, I do have another screen set up over here to kind of watch just to make sure that um, everything is looking okay. It's hard to tell when mm -hmm. I'm, because I'm using a browser through um, StreamYard. And so I just want to make sure, I always kind of open up another browser on YouTube just to make sure that it's coming through okay. So 
every now and then I, I do look off. Mm -hmm. but are we ready to open? I am so excited. <laughs> so how do you want to do this? Look, I got wrapping paper and I love throwing wrapping paper. I have a lot of wrapping paper. Oh my gosh, did you get any <laughs> wrapping paper? I did. I did. Mine came in a box, probably about the same size as yours. But um, yeah, it was a big box for such a small little bundle. But <laughs> well, I don't know the size of the bundle, but oh, I see things. Okay. Okay. Well, you are my guest, my dear. So, um, yep. Yeah, so our, our, Zulu Machine Travel says it's it's still going to be blocked by COVID-19 lockdown rules. Unfortunately, I I think you're correct in that regard. So, okay, Sharissa, you are my guest. So I will let you choose if you would like to go first. Um, actually, um, I'm not sure. I ha I ordered something special for my son along with the bundle. Ooh. And I told him to, to tune in to find out what it is. Oh. Oh, so you don't want to go so, first? Huh? You do not want to go first or you do? I I at least want to show this one item first and then you can do your bundle and then I'll do my bundle. We'll kind of go back and forth. Okay, hang on. That's okay. Somebody popped in. They wanted to know again what your um your giveaway is. So why don't you go ahead? We'll have to say it a couple times as people pop in so they know. Oh so yeah. It's a fabulous giveaway. And then I also have a giveaway, but not nearly as cool as yours. <laughs> Although I we'll see. Let's you never on. know. We I don't know, know yet. So <laughs> <it's a grab laughs> So my giveaway is the 2020 Summer FabFitFun Summer Edit Box. I'm going to be giving the entire box away to one special person. That is, and you said the value is is over $200. It's, yes, it's supposed to be over $200. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, that's exciting. So, okay, so did you say you wanted to go first? Um. Well, I'll just show you one thing that I ordered special for my son. Um, yeah, I can I can also open mine too as well. Um, you are my guest. <laughs> I will I will let you make the decisions. <laughs> okay. Well, the first thing when I was doing the mystery bundle um, order, um, you know how we we see things. We're like, and you think of a person. And well, I ordered my son one of these because I have the panda bear one and he really liked it. So I ordered him a little critter. A oh, little uh super cute. <laughs> he's eleven and I really feel that he's gonna have a great time with this. Um so if he's watching, hey buddy, you watching? <laughs> yeah. Gear up to game. Uh, Is gear up to game watching? That's my son's uh is he, gonna, is he gonna tell us <laughs> if he's watching? Hopefully he's watching. Otherwise, I don't know. Otherwise, all of YouTube knows what he got. That's so cute. So what do they yeah. do? What do they do? It's a little Bluetooth speaker. So you connect it to your phone and you can take it anywhere. It's small. It's like teeny tiny little small little thing and very portable. Like you put it in your bike or put it in your backpack. And with him starting seventh grade in the fall, if schools are reopening, which I really hope they are, <laughs> um, you could have some fun with this. Um, but yeah, I just thought it was so cute when I saw it. I was like, oh, that's, that speaks my kid's name all over it. That's so cute. He's 11, so. so yeah. So that was one item that I ordered. And then this is, There's my little invoice. I'll put that down here. I don't think I need it. And, and I did take mine out of the box already because I had to make sure that the edit box came, which it did. So I had to wait a little bit. And then, so here's a little sneak peek. Oops. <laughs> a little bag like this. And the mystery bundles, I believe they were $29.99. Is that correct? 
I think you're correct on that. You know, it's funny because like it doesn't even say on the packing list. Of course, the packing no. list doesn't say anything. <laughs> Just says mystery. So I'm curious if your mystery number is the same as mine. I mean, maybe we got different bundles. We just, we don't know. That's what's interesting about it. Oh, oh really? Does it say like a... So mine says hmm. it is um, FLO1A14. Mine's four or five, so they're different. Oh my gosh. This will be fun. <laughs> we might have different items. Okay, that's cool. So do you want to do another item? Um, I can pull one item out of the mystery bundle and then we'll just, you want to go back and forth like that? Sure. Okay, sure. cool. So, and I am seeing a total of four items in my mystery bundle. And the first one that I'm going to put out, this is really cool. Mine's making noises. If you're familiar with the brand Beauty Crop, you're going to absolutely love this. If you're not familiar with the Beauty, Beauty Crop brand, you're going to get excited anyways because this is really awesome. This is the Badass Babes Club. Oop. Oh, cool. And it is, oops, oh, sorry, it's a sleeve, go like this. Oh. So I'll set that aside. Very cute little packaging. A little holographic right there. And, oh, it's upside down. No. What is going on here? Okay. A little flippy right here. And we have a whole lipstick set. Oh, are they are they liquid lipsticks? Wow. Yes. Yes. Oh, These are. I'm gonna read the names off of each one. And actually, I'm already recognizing one of these that I have, which is cool. Um. So this is. This is called Date Night, and they got like little lip on it, but that's the letter Date Night. And then we've got the print is so tiny on these things. The heck is that? I don't know. I can't read the print on this one, but that's this color. Okay, and then we've got, this is Frosé. So yes, this is the one that I recognize. I have this one already. But I have done some beauty crop unboxings, um, which you can find on my channel. This, I love this color. I love this, this formula. It's absolutely amazing. Um, this one's called First Kiss. So they're all very similar, like with the the like a, a nude undertone. And then this one is rum and raisin. Kind of a strange name. But yeah. But what was the name of that one? Huh? I've heard of that type of name before. Rum and like rums and rum and raisins or raisins with rum or yeah. I do not know what this is but that's the other color <laughs> yeah i can't see it uh, it's a little too pixelated for me it's you know i don't know, I don't know. i'm terrible at that um it Pecha? Maybe it's Pecha. P E A C H A. Pecha? Oh, wow. I don't know. Yeah, wow. that's weird. I don't know, but there's this whole lip bundle that I got for my first mystery item. Um, and 
and again, we don't know the value of these products because again, it's a mystery item. It doesn't tell us. No, it doesn't. I'm trying to get into my bag. Did was yours just like knotted in a big knot? Your bag? Yeah, it was. Did you just cut it? Because I'm trying to unravel it, and I'm not sure I'm going to be very successful. It's terrible. You might as well just cut it. Yeah. Just snip it. We're going to hack away at things. Too bad. Yeah, this is a good start to the mystery bundle. I'll tell you what. Yeah, that's, I'm seeing my stuff, and I'm like, huh, okay. All right, are you ready? You're going to laugh. <laughs> Canada. <laughs> <laughs> And, okay, so they're called. What is it? They're slipper socks. They're and they're 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 fleecy and they're super soft. So they're called P U D U S. Uh, I put us P U D U S put us. I yes. I love my put us put us life. Uh, try me out. Extra fuzzy inside. Uh, and of course, it's in partially in French, and I don't. I don't speak French. No, I do not parlez vous français. Yeah. Um, I learned more Spanish than <laughs> French. Uh, but it's animal friendly. It's not made from fur, so it's faux. Um, so let's see what else it says. Everyone loves their puda. Put, is it? How would you say that? P U D U S. Put us. Wrap your feet in warmth and comfort. These lightweight slipper socks feel like heaven and keep your toes toasty warm all day and night. Ultra plush lining wraps your feet in super cozy softness. High density faux fur traps heat for ultimate warmth. Non-slip gripper soles improve traction, which is good because I don't fall on my face. Uh, it says the outer layer is 100% acrylic. The inner layer is 100% polyester. Um, and yeah, they looks like they're Canadian, Canada socks. So kind of cute. They're actually really cute. Yeah, they almost, you it's, know, it's maple leaves of, on them. You can, it's hard to see, and I don't want to, but there's the, one of the maple leaves. Um, yeah. There's another view from the back. So that's cool. And they're super oh, fun. Uh, so I actually freeze my rear end off and my feet, especially in winter. So these are really not, and they're so, I don't know if you can see how thick they are. Yeah. I mean, if you compare them to like a finger, I mean, they're super, super thick. So that's pretty awesome. So. Yeah, so that's my first item. I kind of had to laugh when I, look, I looked in and I saw this. I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, what yeah, is the first time? Is it gloves? I'm like, oh, I think they're slippers. So, yeah. An interesting start to my box, my mystery box. Kind of wild. All right, lady, your turn. Are they gripped on the bottom? Like they say they are. Oh yeah, they. Oh look. Okay, so I'll just peel it around and turn. It says the grippy thing is the name of the company. So okay, there you go. Okay, perfect. I don't know how you, you say slip. that. How, how do you say that? Do you speak French? And um, no <laughs> French. Well, I don't know French. <laughs> All right, so it's not just me. Okay. <laughs> No, no. Muy poquito habla español. I'm even worse. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So, okay. My turn. And I'm actually going to pull out something kind of similar to yours that I'm seeing here that I'm excited about. Um, I got socks. So you got some for your feet, too. Well, these are super. So what are they? Super ga? Super GA, super GA, super, super GA, <laughs> super GA. Okay, so it's it's like this. You kind of go. How do you pronounce it? <laughs> we are very sorry if we're saying it wrong. We do not know. So these are sneaker socks, which is awesome because at my work I wear sneakers all day long so I'm excited to have these and it comes in one of my favorite colors purple yeah they're pretty so, I'm excited three pairs oh three yeah oh yeah purple gray and white very nice Ooh. yeah 
very, very cool. Oh, it says the MSR pan. This is sixteen dollars. Oh. Says it right there. Mine doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> Just got some Canadian um, thing here, but it, there's no MSRP on it. So, mine say they're made in China. <laughs> Designed in Canada and made in China. So, BC, British Mine says made in China. Mine says Richmond, the company is HBJR Holdings from Richmond, British Columbia. Um, yeah. They're soft. Never heard of this brand. I have no idea where it came from. I don't know, but I'm excited. I got socks. Looks like we're both, so far. we both got something for our feet. Okay, so this is something that's probably going to go in a giveaway. I got Ultra Hydrating Rose Color Base Mind Tan Salon Professional Formula Illuminating Facial Mist. That was a whole lot of tough stuff, but that's what wow. I Wow. Um, that's awesome. Yeah. So there's the Mind Tan Salon Professional. There's where it says the Illuminating Facial Mist. So let's see what it says. A hydrating gradual tan facial mist infused with soothing rose water. So I i don't know that I would use this for, for you know, tanning, self-tanning or whatever. So I probably would go ahead and put this in a giveaway. Um, yeah, it says use illuminating rose water facial tan mist daily to build or maintain your existing self tan. Spray face and decolletage evenly, keeping nozzle at least 15 centimeters or six inches away from the skin. Allow a few minutes to dry before applying makeup or skincare. Um, warning, this product does not contain a sunscreen and does not protect against sunburn. <laughs> Um, it's paraben free, vegan friendly, and 100% natural DHA. Um, seeing if there's anything else interesting in there. Most of it's in another, it's in another language I can't read. So yeah, you know, I think it's a great product, but I don't, I don't self tan like my face. I actually try not to, I, I use a lot of sunscreen. I think I've got like three products right here to keep my poor face like out of the sun. I've got my favorite CeraVe and then my second favorite Aveeno. <laughs> so mm -hmm. I don't do a whole lot of tanning of the face. But so I think I'll put this in a giveaway because, I mean, I think it's a cool product. It's just not something I would use. So giveaway. That'll have to go in the grab bag. And Sharissa knows what my grab bag is like. And actually, Sharissa, I have two grab bags now. <laughs> I gotta pull them all out and, and I will add this to them. So that could be in tonight's giveaway. We shall see. Yes. All right, lady. Exciting. Yeah. Okay. Um the next thing I got is a spongele in uh beach grass. So I love these. I I have like quite a few of them. My son loves to use these. These are uh, infused, um, it's body wash infused buffer. So if you've used a sponge LA, you will definitely appreciate the benefits that these have to offer. Well, maybe maybe there's somebody out there who hasn't heard about it, so I'll open it and show you. Yeah, those are, they're really cute. Yeah, those are, people were fighting over those last night. Mm-hmm. How long do they so, last? Uh, well, it says here, dermatologist tested, um, multi-use, directions, uh, place sponge under water, squeeze to absorb, massage in a circular routine. Please out excess water after each use. Um, okay, I cannot read the rest of it. Uh, 
cruelty free, vegan friendly. It doesn't say, wait. I think it, for, if I remember correctly, it was like what, five uses or something. That sounds right. I think I remember reading something like that. Approximately five uses. I use these until it runs out of soap, basically. Right. <laughs> Very so, cool. yeah, these are really cool. These are exciting. Um, my kid will love it. He's got one he's using right now. He's going to love the next one. Nice. And I like I like him, too. Yeah. Well, I remember those were all the rage um, in May and June, and people were fighting over them and ordering and trying to get all the stock so that they could resell them and and – I mean, they were like a hot commodity. So that's really awesome that you got something. <laughs> Very cool. Yes. Congrats I did. To your son. I did. Lucky son. I know. All right. I might use it though. I don't know. It's not a bad idea. Oh. Keep it for yourself. Okay. I have my next item. Are you ready for this? Yes. It is. Is it Oriba? Oribe? Illuminating face palette. Oh, cool. Aribe? Oh. Yeah, I'm not sure. Orib? Yeah, Orib? it says it's in Orib? Clear to Loon or Moonlit. O R I B E. So, what it says on the side is, and of course it's in French on one side, and I don't speak French, so um, sweep <laughs> colors together and brush over cheeks for an immediate radiant glow. Use separately as blush, bronzer, and illuminator where you please. So, again, something I won't use. Uh, I don't bronze, I don't illuminate, I don't do any of that, but we'll open it up and see what this looks like in the box. <laughs> And this will go in a giveaway. If I can get it. Ooh. Oh. Ooh, it's very pretty little, little. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, it's got like a little. Very illuminating. Yeah, there's like a little design in the middle there. I don't know if you can see it, but it's very pretty. Yeah, a little gemstone. It's funny. It feels kind of like a just a regular like mirrored compact, but it is very pretty. So there is a mirror in it. So I will put my hands over that. And then I am not touching the colors, but there's three. You know what it reminds me of? Like a Neapolitan ice cream. Oh, that's so cool. Because there is three colors. I don't know how to make it like show any better, but the middle one is pink. Um, you know, I see it. Yeah, the darker and then. And there's, there's a real shimmer to the two outer ones. Uh, obviously, the darker color has a little bit more shimmer to it, but there is definitely quite a bit mm -hmm. of shimmer. I don't know if my lighting is going to pick up that shimmer, but it's pretty. But I'm not going to touch it because um, I won't use it. <laughs> so it's going to go it's a beautiful back in the box. And this is the story of my life is that they often send me everything that I won't use. So <laughs> I'm not surprised. Um, okay, so I'm going to put this back in its pretty box that it came in so that it's safe and secure and ready to go to a new home. But that is what it is. It is the Ariba, Ariba Illuminating Face Palette in Moonlit. Claire de Lune. Is so that's going to be out in the grab oh. bag. <laughs> Another item for the grab That's bag. pretty. It's gorgeous. Yeah, it is pretty. All right, lady, you're up. Okay, the last item I've got here is um, Wit and Delight Portable Charger with Mirror. Now, this is very, very interesting um, because when you first look at it, you think it's one of those charging, charging pads for your phone that you set on top. Yeah, I actually have but, one, like one of these. This is my anchor. This has, I don't want to blind anybody, but there's a, a mirror in the back right here. Yeah. So it's a charging bank. Oh. So you charge it up and then you plug it into your phone. And 
So it's like a backup battery. Yes, I'm going to have to use a different charger because I have a C charge and this is an A charge for my Android. But yeah, it's um, it's a little backup, like a, a battery, but it's got like little designs on it. Well, I'm wondering is if the, the, um, the cord that they send is to charge that and then I'm wondering if you can place your phone on it as a wireless charger. Oh yeah, that's probably what it is. That would be cool. You could, maybe. My phone doesn't do the wireless charging. I don't understand why. But um, it says here, allows you to charge your battery on the go. The back of the power bank also features a mirror, includes USB to micro USB cable. iPhone charging cable not included. Um, there's a little, little thing that says wit and delight. So yeah, it's a power bank, but maybe it'll charge just by setting the phone down. I don't know. I'm not familiar with this, this yet. <laughs> yeah, I'm yet. guessing that if they don't yeah. know how to hit you over the head with that information, it probably isn't you know true yeah i think it's just a charging bank plug the usb blah 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 blah, blah. adapter the power bank flashed red while charging so you have to charge it ahead of time and then take it on the go yeah which is nice to have those so yeah, and it's got I work. actually do need one to work, so this will work great. Does it and then there's a full-on mirror. Yeah. Hmm? Does it say um, how many milliamps it is, like how much battery it, it holds? MAH, what the MAH is? Oh, 2,000. Okay, so that's a partial charge or almost full for most phones. That's nice. Yeah. Emergency yeah. battery. That's cool. Hey, I need I need it because part of my job is well, I use my phone at work for inputting customer orders. So uh, if my phone dies, then not a good thing. So this is good. I'm excited. Very cool. Well, I'm not really sure what my next thing is here but um it's that's my last item what is it i don't know i think it's an itty bitty like sample sized eyeliner i'm not really sure it's tiny it's called ish and the hashtag it says i'm smoking hot and other than that i have no idea it's tiny so let's see if I can do it so you can see the ISH on it. Oh, the ish? Okay. Ish, yeah. So ish. there we go. Is this a portable, like, makeup brush or? It's like gold on my end. I see like, like a yeah. yellow. Oh, yeah. no. So I don't know what it is. So it, I mean, it just looks like a, it just, I'm trying to figure out where my camera is. I don't know. Why am I having these problems? Like, is it a brush? Ooh, I'm going the wrong way. Is it? Well, we're just going to find out. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I mean, it, it doesn't do anything. I don't know what it is. What? I, I don't I don't know what this is. I I don't know what this is. <laughs> like um what if you like shake it with the put the cap on, shake it and, like Oh, there's no maybe cap. It's an eyeliner. It, just, yeah. it just retracts into itself. <laughs> what the heck is that? Made in China, distributed by FabFitFun. 
I have no idea what I don't I don't know what this is. I I have to say, Sharissa, this mystery box that I got or bundle or whatever blows. Because <laughs> I'm like, I don't I so like here, watch. It's like peekaboo. Like <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know why I'm doing this wrong. I'm, I'm getting it backwards on here, but like, it's, it's like a little, I, I feel like it's a, like a, oh, now it's starting to get crap all over me. So I don't know what it is. I got something all over my fingers. So no, no, it's not doing anything. It's not, I think it's just a, like a, a brush that you can take with you. To, on the go. I mean, it's, it literally like I, I I don't know. I I I don't understand what this is. <laughs> I have like no idea what this is other than it's some sort of brush and there's it doesn't have a product in it. I mean, I'm just like it's just a little soft brush. I think it's just meant to be like a travel sized. But I don't what would you use that for? It's weird. It's just the weirdest tip brush, like a little blending brush for eyeliner. At, um, at most, maybe yeah. you could use it for like a, um, yeah, like a, you know, like the little liquid pots of eyeliner. You maybe, yeah, maybe you could, I don't know. So, does anybody else know who's tuned in right now? Sorry, I accidentally muted. I can't myself. hear you. I accidentally oh. muted my. I bumped. There you go. I bumped the um the mouse, but I don't understand why they would include this. Because to me, this is weird. <laughs> so it's the it's the ish i s h ish. Um, I, it says hashtag I'm smoking hot. I I don't I don't know what this is. I I'm I'm going with it's a portable brush that you can travel have a travel with you that's like teeny you know i mean it's the you know i mean looking at the size of my hand it's not big it's you know three and a half inches maybe three inches that's just a very odd but it's a mystery so i guess it's a mystery you'll have to look it up <laughs> I mean, I got good. I mean, I got the other products are good. It's just stuff I would never use. So um, these are fun. My socks are fun. My little Canadian Canada mm -hmm. socks. I don't know if you call them socks. They're so, they call them slipper socks. So they're soft. They're super soft. They feel really amazing. Um, yeah, and I'm glad they do have their little anti-slip on them because I will otherwise kill myself on because I'm yeah. like hardwood floors and slippery floors tile I'd probably end up falling on my face but so yeah um I <laughs> the self tanner for your face I'm not with the yeah and with the the winter socks and the self tanner <laughs> yeah the self tanner the winter socks the the really random whatever this is um, and then, I mean, the little highlighting, bronzing, blushing thing is, but I don't, I mean, I, right now I'm at work all day with a mask over my face. So I don't, I don't do anything other than moisturizer on my face. And I don't see that that's going to change at all in the foreseeable future where I live. So, um, you know, everybody I oh. talk to that is doing like makeup and then wearing a mask, they're just like, why am I breaking out? I'm like, because you're like mask is you know trapping your breath on your face and melting your makeup and causing bad things so yeah you have to use hypoallergenic um sensitive skin type of makeup very very little like me i do put makeup on just so i feel good and then if it comes yeah. off in the mask, I just wash it every single night. Yeah. I love them. Um, I got uh, the most fun lip glosses and uh, I can't use them at work because nobody's going to see them. 
This is one of my favorites. You just waste it wearing it. Yeah. So this is Lorella. This came from my uh, oh, cool. my mystery box. And so I think I, I mentioned in one of my previous, when I did the unboxing, um, part of part of this was I was one of the 10 giveaway winners for the week. You know, they do weekly mystery box bundles um, and they have three different price points. But um, for like they always give for each of the three, they always give um, there's like 10, 10 winners for a giveaway for each level of box. And the particular week that I ordered one, the giveaway was a $75 gift card to their Lorella Cosmetics. So I just ordered oh, cool. one of their lip glosses because I love this. I'm, I love this. So I ordered like $80 in lip gloss. <laughs> <laughs> Coming. So thank you to Lorella for uh, $75 of that being very free. So I, uh, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. So anyway, uh, but yeah, it's sad because I love lip glosses and I have, a, and I have a really pretty um, Kat Von D. Um, it's, it's a lipstick, but I really like it. Um, it's the Kat Von D vegan, um, but it's such a pretty okay. color and I freaking love it. And I'm like, where am I ever going to wear it? So I know, wear it. <laughs> but it just, it will be for my YouTube stuff. Oh, there you go. This is what I'm wearing today. Um, oh, is it Okalan? Okalan? Matt? Oh, neat. And it's the... Uh, like a wine bottle That's and so cool. uh, this has a little jewel on it. Oh, that's pretty. But yeah, that's what I'm wearing on my lips right now. It kind of wore off a little. Yeah, it's very pretty color. That's awesome. It smells delicious. So yeah, I like that. But yeah, I, I feel you on that. Not being able to do anything because of wearing masks all the time. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I'm just, I have a, I have a load of, of different shades and, and glosses and stains, and I can't wear anything right now. I have a box over here that's like all my, my currently my favorites, and they're kind of a mess right now. And of course, the Lorella fell out, but um, oops. But uh, yeah, I have. I'm sad that I don't get to grab these as often as I normally would. So, oh well, they're fun. But I like the the Lorello, um, their lip the lip gloss. It was in the shade Thirsty. Um, I like the texture. It just feels so nice on. Um, it's thick and creamy, but not like not sticky. Not that annoying stickiness, but it feels really smooth and yeah. soft and. Just it it does feel mm -hmm. thick, but it's quite creamy. I really like it, and I, I love the shine. Is just so they have a um, I think there's six of these. So anyway, five or six. Maybe there's five. They're I think they're ten dollars each. I think what it was is um because they've got they call it their iconic gloss, and then they've got other glosses. Um, and I if I'm remembering from ordering this, they have five shades, they're $10 each. And I think the bundle you get for $48. So you save two bucks. So I did the bundle and then I ordered some of their other lip glosses. Oh, they have like two or three pages of beautiful colors. And I ordered a couple of those. And I mean, they have all kinds of stunning colors. I can't wait to try them because I, this, I love these. And there's that, it almost looks like there's like very microscopic glitter in here. The shimmer is really, I really like it. So it's fun. So hello. Awesome. Hello, lovely lady. Just tuning in now. Thanks for tuning in and welcome. So we just did our um, mystery bundle unboxings. And so you want to show her yours real quick while I grab my other items here? Um, and sure. Her mind. Absolutely. Okay. So what I, the first item that I picked out was the Badass Babes Club um, by the Beauty Crop, if you're familiar with that brand. They're an amazing company. I do some of their unboxings um, on my channel, so you can check that out if you want. 
Um, and the colors, this is like an array of the shades. It's um, liquid lip glosses. Whoop. I got all this stuff on my lap that's going to fall off. Um, but yeah, these are really cool. I actually already have one of the, the shades called Frosé. So I'm going to be um, setting this aside for someone. Uh, but it's really cool. I was excited to receive that. Um, always nice to receive a beauty item. Um, the next one that I pulled out was from Superga or Super GA. I don't know how you pronounce it, but they're they're sneaker socks, and there's some those purple, gray, and white. Which very excited because I need more socks for work. Why not? Very usable. And then I was lucky to receive a spongele. If you know what this is, it's an um, body wash infused or infused. Yeah, well, it says infused. Body wash infused buffer. So it's it's got soap already in it. You just go in the shower and soap it up and scrub down. It's really nice exfoliating. I've been using these for years. I'm super excited about that. And then the last item in my mystery bundle was a portable charger with mirror. So this is a charging bank. Um, so you pre-charge it and then you take it with you to charge your cell phone. And then there's a mirror on the back. So I guess you could check your makeup while you're on the, on the go. <laughs> I don't really understand. And hey, I, I, you know, hey girl, what's up? You know, <laughs> with your portable charger. <laughs> hey, it'll work. I'm excited for that. So I, I was overall very happy with the mystery bundle that I received for $29. Um, yes. Thank you, Denise. Good stuff. Very good stuff. Great. Yes. So I don't know, what was your favorite item out of the four that I showed you? Me or them? For me, um, I, 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 I'm a lip gloss girl. I think the lipsticks, the lipstick, the liquid lipsticks or glosses, depending on what they are, I think that's awesome. Okay. Well, what about you? What's your favorite? So you you pick this one. This is your favorite one, the Badass Babes Club. Yeah, because I, as you can tell, I, mean, I just ordered eighty dollars in lip glosses. <laughs> yeah, I'm slightly in favor yeah. lip gloss, but you know, I would have to say I'm probably most excited about the portable charger because I do need these. I have them everywhere. Um. And in my opinion, you can never have too many pre-charged cell phone chargers. Here's my one. <laughs> Especially if you're working at it. Huh? This is my backup battery yeah. thing, portable charging thing, whatever you call it. It's mine's boring. Yeah. <laughs> Mine does not have a cool like mirror to hey. put my makeup in. <laughs> It gets the job done. That's all it counts, right? Yeah. Mine doesn't have a mirror so I can check my makeup. <laughs> so that's awesome. I don't really understand that part. I'm like. It's for beauty. Why would you be like. <laughs> it kills two birds with one stone. You can put it in your purse and you've got a backup battery for your cell phone. And you've got a quick mirror to check your makeup. Right? I guess so. <laughs> I don't know. When I'm at work with a mask on, I really don't care. Right. I know. So, right. Okay. So I got slippers. I got Canadian slipper socks thingies and they're, um, they're, they're, they're fake fur. So they're, you know, they're not, they're not cruel or anything. They're, they're, they're uh, polyester and acrylic, so no, you know, no animals were harmed in the making of my my socks. But they have a really fun. There's the the different um, 
maple leaf and then let's see if i can there's the little um thing that's going to keep me from basically falling down and killing myself when i wear these so that's the name of them uh however you say it put us i don't know <laughs> I, I don't know how to say that i'm sorry and then i got um this ultra high perfect for summer yeah right ultra hydrating <laughs> color base mind tan salon professional formula this is a facial mist that's a self tanner um so that's interesting and i forgot to say it is 100 milliliters or 3.3 fluid ounces so uh yeah that's that's you know it's a nice product if i were to be worrying about my face tanning but i'm not so that'll go in a giveaway and then I got this Oriba or Oribe illuminating face palette that is, um, you can use it as blush or bronzer or highlighter, depending on, uh, it, there's three different colors in there. You can kind of mix them together. And of course, I don't blush, bronze, or highlights. <laughs> this one's going to go in a giveaway. Um, and then I got whatever this is. <laughs> I don't know what this is. I think. It is just meant to be a portable makeup brush because, um, again, it does weird things. Um, it just it twists and it's like pop goes the weasel or it pulls, I guess. And it's like pop goes the weasel and it's a little <laughs> disappearing facial brush thing. I don't know. I This is just the most random, strange, weird, like... I, I don't it's a mystery. Know. <laughs> I don't know. I'll, I'm just guessing it is because it's so small. It's meant to go like in a your pocket, you know, like in a in a small clutch or something to take with you, so that you've got a brush or something. I don't know. I I have to say, on the weirdness scale, I find this one to be pretty weird. <laughs> I'm a little confused by this, but so hey. anybody that's tuned in right now, um, if you can help us out, like. Do you know what it is? Yeah, and it's, Anybody that's watching? So the company is Ish. And so I feel like, okay, so sure. So I'm going to open up like a little Google action here and we're going to try to figure out what this is. Okay. Does that sound good? There we go. Let me see if I can yeah. share. Let's see, I'm going to do this one. We're going to share the screen. Um, yeah. Okay. You can see that, right? So Ish. Yep. Cosmetics, do you think? It just says ish. Oh, yeah, apparently. It's yeah, ish. it's a brand. Uh, so you can see this, right? Ish.co. Mm hmm um, Yeah, I'm going to go with it being a tool. <laughs> what do you think? I think it's a tool. Oh, look at that. It's a, oh, it's a lip brush, retractable lip brush there. Can you see that Charissa? Yep. It's sold out. It says MFP, okay. $16. So the mystery has been solved. It is the, it's a lip brush. So it's retractable. Okay. Sure. Cruelty free, not tested on animals, paraben free, sulfate free, uh vegan azo free no chemicals used in dye for synthetic fibers so tips and tricks um it's not loading any tips and tricks that's random hmm. and there's no ingredients so i don't <laughs> it's, uh -huh. I, I i i got I, I it would have been nice to receive like a little like i don't know something on our a little slip that told us what was in in here right or a little lip product to go along with it so that we knew yeah to, i don't know yeah because it doesn't say it just says i'm smoking hot and then ish and that's it. <laughs> well mystery solved it's a lip brush so that's pretty cool um so yeah um yeah, most fifty percent of my stuff's going in the giveaway grab bag. Um, you know, a 
probably would have put this in there too, but I, um, I touched it a lot and I actually like lip products because clearly I'm talking a lot about lip glosses and lip liners and not liners. I don't really like a lot of the lip liners that I've been getting in my, um, subscription boxes the, you know, the, the wooden ones, do you like those? I just never like those wooden ones. They're so hard. They hurt putting on. I well, yeah. Plus I always feel like you're wasting product when you sharpen it because you know, you're sharpening away and then the product's falling out and it's just like, okay. And then it breaks. Yes. So I, I prefer the retractable myself. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, Cause they hurt, like they hurt putting on they're like a hard pencil i'm like if you're gonna do that you need to make whatever that product is in the middle much creamier and not nearly as like it's like it's like a number two hard pencil on your lips and i just don't <laughs> find them at all i just don't know how no. anybody would want to buy them and use them they're so painful and hard to use and then it's like half the time the product doesn't even want to come off so like you're having to go over and over and over and i'm like i usually just pitch them because it's like really I can't believe manufacturers haven't like moved beyond that. Like that's like the lipstick um, lip liners of like 30 years ago or 40 years ago or 50 years ago. Remember on our last live stream, we were talking about, um, remember when I talked about when I was a little, little girl, I took my mom's like retractable brush thing. It was like, whoosh, you know, it was like this big streak of pink up there, you know, it was that, and she, and she was like, oh, that was like from Avon. And I'm like, yes, from like 50 years ago, it was like old Avon, like, you know, it was like a crayon, but it was like the size of like a, you know, a quarter, you know? And so I feel like if we've moved on from that, why haven't we moved on from like the hard lip liners? I just, I don't get it. I don't know. Yeah, me so. either. But I have to say, um, out of the bundle that you received, my favorite would have been the Orb, Orby, Orby. Oh, I think it's okay. Orby. That's cute. I think that was very cute. It was really. Let me see if I can get into it again and show the colors. Um, make sure. I'm trying to figure out which end I opened it on. I just, I'm careful with the box because I don't want to, you know, I it's hard i don't want to ruin yeah the because you know it's a cute box and i don't want to have this floating around it's nicely protected um it's it it's the the unit itself or whatever this little palette is is beautiful i mean that little pretty golden designed and you can see like the design of the case and even the back is real pretty it's got you know gold edging i mean it's that's it reminds cool. me of like a little um, compact that you would have, like almost like a little compact press powder that you might have with, a, you know, and it does have a mirror in it, um, you know, that you would put it in a clutch to take with you. So there's the mirror, um, mm -hmm. you can see the computer, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, and there, yeah. the two outer colors have, have that, just that little hint of like glittery shimmer to them. So very highlightery and, um, I don't know that it's picking it up. I can see it. I think I can mm -hmm. see it. Can you see it? I can see it more in the darker one than you can in the lighter one, but that could just be the lighting. Um, I have my ring light yeah. backlighting. I don't know if I should try to change the colors on it. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Maybe not. But it's it's and it's got a real yeah, filter going on. I know it's got a very pretty, you know, it's clearly has a company's symbol in it stamped. And that's the same. Um, mm -hmm. That is the same symbol that is on the, the case. So it's very pretty. Um, and the mirror has a little, you really can't see it, but it says the Oribe on the mirror, like etched in the mirror. I, I don't know if it's a sticker um, in the back. I don't understand why they do this. Look at the text on there. How are you supposed to read that? It's like, dark blue on black it's impossible to read like <laughs> they've all been doing this lately like they either they put like the lightest colors on the lightest colors that you can't read or they put like the darkest colors on the darkest colors i you can't read i can see a lot number but yeah all the, all the text underneath it, it it's i guess i'd have to be out in sunlight to really read it because um 
I don't know if I've got another ring. I've got a couple of ring lights, so I'm going to illuminate it. So I guess that does work. It says moonlit, Claire de Lune. And then I think it's got, you know, like company information on it, like super small, but um, I don't know. But it's, it's like a really pretty um, pearlescent, like a dark bluish. Mm -hmm. And it's very, got like a little bit of a pearlescence to it. So it is very pretty. Um, but yeah. Yeah, you should have got this, dear. <laughs> I'm packing it back up so that it's safe and sound in its little box. So, yeah. Well, maybe we could do a swap. I'll give right. you the, the beauty crop. <laughs> right? We could do that. We could totally do that. I would totally, I would totally send you some stuff. You don't want some self-tanner? Because <laughs> you live in California. No. <laughs> I yeah, I I got the sun out there. If I want to go get a tan, and I don't know, for me, self tanners, I just feel so. I I've tried them before, and they streak, and I just it makes me look dirty, I almost. Know. You know? Yeah. I know. The only one that works really good is the Jergens. Um, I have a Jergens collagen one. Is a self tanner. I've, I've heard that one's really good. Yeah. So. Yeah, I actually cool. used it this morning. That's awesome. So the um, mm -hmm. the little lip brush isn't your favorite? <laughs> no. Uh, it's comical. I can see now that I know what it is, I can definitely, you know, that's pretty <clears throat> cool. I can see, you know, I'm not sure like what you would use it with. You don't really get well, pot of, you don't get like a pot of lip gloss. You know, everything else has an applicator. Even lipstick, you know, comes as I guess you could use it with lipstick. Um, I had a lip palette by Ish once that had like like multiple. Okay. I, I don't. I want to say it was like twelve oh, cool. colors. The solid lip. I don't know little pans of lips product in it well so that probably worked worked really good with it but i i got rid of that because it got old let's go back onto their website because you know i am clearly curious so let's look at the ish lip stuff so there it is lip palette bingo i guess i've never there really you go one of these types of things but that would be perfect you could have this palette and you would that's take the one i had okay this one $30. Yeah. So it's like they've got some cool stuff. So yeah, I could see that. I don't know. I guess I, I don't see myself carrying a palette around. Um, and this, this little brush feels like, I don't know. It's so small. I guess it feels like it's portable, but, um, I, I like my little lip gloss. <laughs> I guess I'm, I'm kind of old. They should have sent the palette with it. They should have. Now that I would have gotten excited over. So those look See? really creamy. Those look really nice, right? Did it worked like really, really well. I just never used it because to me it wasn't functional. Um, they even say on here, mix any shades to create infinite combinations, combinations of lip colors customized by you. Add the tinted lip topper for a hint of shine and touch of added moisturizer, paraben free, gluten free, and cruelty free. Um, it's interesting. <laughs> Yeah, so kind of wild. Mm -hmm. um, hmm. Here we go. Bring us back in. So yeah. Anyway, so I don't. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. So right now you can use it for whatever you want. I know, right? So I think we need to um, edit our rules for our giveaway because, to be honest with you, I think the only person in here is Denise, and um, she already messaged me that she she doesn't want to worry about winning anything. So um, I say that we extend our giveaways on to our channels. Uh, okay. Okay. So I had this really, Sharissa. You got to tell me if I'm crazy. So for hitting like um, some milestone, I kind of thought it would be really fun for like an entire month to do a huge giveaway. And I mean like a big, like 
massive amount of products giveaway and then do something fun like throughout the month um make it like a what i would call an easter egg hunt or um you know scavenger hunt so that um to, first of all i would have people watching my videos on my channel so that random videos throughout the month and i wouldn't tell anybody which videos i would in, in the making of like somewhere in the video, I would pop out an Easter egg and be like, hey, if you're interested in my giveaway, here's your Easter egg. You need to know this and then give a clue, you know, or, or a word or, you know, whatever. And be like, you know, at the end of it all, if I had like five Easter eggs that they had to watch the videos and find or however many, they would need to, you know, give it would be like a word. Um that would be kind of how they would end okay. because they would have to enter, they would have to, you know, probably follow me, blah, blah, you know, and then, you know, what are the, what are the Easter eggs? You know, what were the Easter egg words or, or maybe one of my Easter eggs would be like, here's the Easter egg. Here's, you know, use this in your, you know, in the entry, this, you know what I mean? Or use, um, slipper socks, you know, I, something like, I mean, I thought that would be kind of fun, but then I'm like, I'd probably just drive everybody nuts. <laughs> But I think it was a really cool giveaway, like $300 worth of stuff or something. I, you know, I think that would be, I don't know. I've always been that way. Like I used to drive, I have an, a brother and when we were kids growing up, I, my most favorite thing to do for, um, when we were exchanging gifts was to have him go on like a, an, an Easter egg hunt. <laughs> I would like <laughs> he would unwrap his present and inside it would be his instructions on how he would have to go find his gift <laughs> that I hid. And it would be literally like stand That's up, awesome. stand up and walk to this room. And then it would be like, you need to go X steps this way, X steps this way, X steps this way, turn this way. You know what I mean? It was always like, instead of, and he, it just drove him nuts, but I just thought it was hilarious. And my parents always thought it was funny too, but. So I'm like, well, that would be kind of a totally unique thing to do, but it might, might also drive everybody nuts. But, you know, for the channel's benefit, it would have people watching my videos more, right? And, and you know, you're not going to give away your, your Easter egg in the first 30 seconds of your video. You're clearly going to put it towards the end of the video, <laughs> but maybe not. Maybe you put it yeah. at the halfway point just to keep people guessing because you want, it gives you your watch hours, your, your views, keeps you know helps right so i don't know i mean what would you think of that as if you were you know like somebody stumbling upon a giveaway would you be like this person's nuts and there's no way i'm doing this or would you be like this is kind of fun i mean what would be your price point for a giveaway to be like heck yeah i'm doing that i don't know i think it's a good idea um or we could extend it to a certain point in the month. Um, yeah, and I don't mean that. This would, I don't mean that like this Easter egg hunt thing would be my current giveaway. But I'm like, I thought it would be kind of fun as like a future, like a big giveaway. You know, like oh yeah, some random big milestone that I'm excited to achieve or whatever. You know, whatever it is. But um, yeah. So yes. go ahead. Yeah. On your, so, you know, unless we get more people popping in here, uh, obviously, you know, Denise has already said she's not interested. She shot me a, a message. Um, she's like, no, no, I, you know, if, cause I can see who, how many viewers there are on here and it's, it's pretty, it's Denise, <laughs> uh, right now we've had obviously several people pop in and out, um, which very much appreciated them. Um, but, um, Oh, look at that box. So the other thing we could do is nobody wants the edit box. Oh, I want it. I want it. I'm here. I'm subscribed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is awesome. Does it tell you what's in it? No, but I can pop it open. Oh, yes. Because it's a giveaway. We need to show people what they're going to win. And I want to see. Yes. I want to see. I want to see. Okay. So this is the same size and color of my um, 2020 uh, uh, summer Fat Fit Fun box. So when I saw it, I was like, wow, this is like the same thing. And it's weird because they didn't put this in um, like a regular cardboard box like you received with your mystery. Um, it just came like this with the packing label on it. And I thought that was a very bit strange, uh, but everything's good. 
That's weird. Um, that is so the so box is a little dirty. That's bizarre. Apologize I apologize for that. I have no control over that. Huh? I'm I don't that's bizarre that they did that. I know. I know. Weird. I'm like I don't know why, but so when you open it, it looks just like the other box, the um, summer box that we received for our quarterly subscription. And um, if you are not familiar with FabFitFun, um, it is a quarterly subscription box. So you can either pay quarterly, which is like $49.99, um, or you can do an annual subscri subscription. I believe it's like $179.99, which you save quite a bit of money by doing the annual versus the quarterly or seasonal. Um, and then we do also have codes that you can use to get 10 or $15 off your first box. I think I might actually have one in here, but um, that's what it looks like. And so on top, we've got 20% off a best-selling kitchen. So there's just some offers for, you know, um, your home kitchen stuff, kitchen essential stuff. I've never heard of this called Our Place. I don't know. But that's going to stay in the box. Um, here we go. Yep. You deserve some summer fun. So this is a $15. I'm going to cover up the code. So whoever wins this um, can use it. it. says pass on to a friend. So you can pass this along to someone else. Um, and then I've got HelloFresh 10 free meals. Have you ever used HelloFresh? No, but I get those in every single box. I have like, I've given most of mine away, but here's my most recent one. Okay. The $80. Yeah. The 80 bucks. Mm -hmm. So there's that. I mean, so they do give you some promotional items to use. Um, for your, yourself, for your family. And then this is a FabFitFun uh, pamphlet that tells you more about FabFitFun, how it works. Um, editor's note, I haven't read or anything, done anything to this. So um, most of the time this will tell you about the items in your box. But from what I'm seeing here, this is just basic, um, it just, it shows some of the previous products that have been in the boxes before. Um, sorry, I only got two hands. <laughs> um, so it just talked words of wisdom. It's really cool. There's always a beautiful person on the front. And then it's got your horoscopes in it. Um, what sign are you? Sorry, I had to add myself back in. I am an Aquarius or Aquarian. Aquarian? So I can read you yours. Okay. Before I dive into the product. Um, okay. So an eccentric mind needs a plant to match. Enter. The air plant, a strange yet adorable plant that requires no soil, gets the majority of its energy from the air around it, despite its water, water, um, barrier, barrier symbol. Aquarius is an air sign that's driven by curiosity and uniqueness, like this funky guy. So I guess it's talking about a plant, an air plant. I don't know. I'm a Virgo, so mine says, the Zodiac's green thumb already has many plants in her home. But, and I'm definitely not a, a green thumb. <laughs> I try, but. Um, then the fiddle leaf fig is, is likely her favorite. I've never heard about that before, but hey, that's cool. Um, like her, it's loyal, and with proper care and attention, it will grow tall and strong. It also is a safe choice for any room. 
you really can't go wrong with a fiddle. So um, I guess those are uh, our plant symbols, I guess, for, I thought it was more like a horoscope, but it's like a plant, plant scope. Yep. And then, yeah, so that's like the little book. It has all the information for you to follow them on uh, social media. So I'll set that aside. Um, and let's dig into the box. So it always comes with a cute little sticker. I'm going to tear it. Well, that put fun sticker. There's some squigglies here. <clears throat> and just set those aside. <laughs> Ooh, there's some fun stuff in here. Oh, this is exciting. Okay. I can't wait. This is exciting. And it did come with a little cheat sheet. I did not pull it out because I didn't want anybody to, or I have it. I like split underneath. I just didn't want to see anything quite yet. Ooh, I don't want to bring anything over. Okay. So here's the editor box cheat sheet. Let's here. Oh, wow. There's a lot of different things that you could have received. So the first thing that I'm probably the most excited about, because I absolutely love these, I use these all the time, is a color switch for my eyeshadow. So I have mine right here. Yeah, right here. My handy dandy drawer. So it comes like this. And obviously you can see mine's been very well used. <laughs> It's really good for cleaning off your brushes um, if you're going to swatch in between or switch shades while you're doing your eyeshadow. It's really good. So this is exciting. Somebody's going to receive this and just have a heyday with it. That's cool. And I think that's $16.99 dollar value. Wow. Um, yeah. And then we got... These are really cool too. These are really common though. You know, I've, I've received these before. These are makeup eraser. Wow. So these are nice to have. It's a great box. Um, this is just a pink one. Um, this retails for 21, or no, $31. Okay. $31 for the original makeup er eraser. This, all you need to do, they're really super soft. You just apply water to it. You don't have to use any cleansers. I do with mine just because I wear really heavy, heavy makeup. So I guess depend, depending on what you wear. Um, but for the most part, you should just be able to apply warm water to it and wipe off. So that's great. You guys are going to have a great time with that. So we have a couple of makeup tools so far. And then we've got... Um, Bambusa Blackhead Banisher. So these are eight treatments. Removes dirt, excess oil, detoxifies impurities, refines pores. Um, so these are nose masks. So there's um, eight nose masks in here. So that's that. Um, and with this, it shows, whoops, and everything just on the floor. <laughs> um, this shows a $22 value for these, which is quite pricey, in my opinion, for nose patches, but um, they must be really good. It's by Hydropeptide. Hydro Have you heard of this brand before? Can you can you put it a little closer? I, I'm not sure I have, but it's interesting. But yeah, why do they sometimes make these these little? I got a pair of um, you know the little under eye ones, and they said MSRP was like twenty dollars. I'm like seriously for one application? I you know I'm like I guess I'm glad I got it free, but I don't think I would ever buy that. But yeah, I would never put these up in the store. Cool product. But so that's far. cool though. Yeah, absolutely. 
So skin products. So we got two makeup tools, one skin product solar. Um, sorry, my voice is starting to crack up. <clears throat> all I do is talk to people all day long. So when I do have a day off from work, I like, it's very crackly. Absolutely. I already went. This is a strawberry margarita. margarita. Ooh, yum. I got, I got my giant mug. Look at Charissa. Look at the color. Purple. purple. Favorite. Purple, purple. Okay. And then, <clears throat> excuse me. Um. Oh, look. Oh, oh. We were just talking about this. What's this? A spongele. You got another one. <laughs> wow. So this is in the scent Black Orchid. So there's another uh, spongele. Wow. And $16 um, for this. It smells very, very nice. So whoever wins this box is going to absolutely love the fact that they're getting a spongele. And as she had mentioned earlier, people were like fighting to get these. Like every time that there's a, a sale going on on Fat Fit Fun, these sell out like instantly. Like it's, it's, they're hard to get a hold of. <laughs> and then you turn around and it was like two weeks later, there's people selling them all over um, Facebook and they're, yeah. Cause they buy, they buy them in these like pop-up sales. They'll buy out like, you know, if it's limited, you know, limited quantity of like 10, they'll check out 10 and then they'll buy 10 more and they'll check out and they'll buy 10 more and they'll check out and then they'll go out and they'll resell them all um, at a profit. So, you know, exactly. Those things, exactly. Were, they sold out so fast in, in most of the um, like special pop-up sales and stuff. So they are hugely popular. People love them. Yes. Absolutely. Um, and then we've got, ooh, this is pretty cool. So I'm just checking to see if anybody's, um, I'm not showing who's watching or is anybody, leave a, 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 your favorite emoji if you're on right now. I'm actually adding everything up as we go. <laughs> So, okay, okay, cool. All right, so, so far the value is definitely good. And I only paid $39.99 for this box. This is a summer edit box. So if you're doing the addition with me, we're already at, let's see here. Okay, so I have the $16.99. The $22 for the blackhead, uh, no strips, the spongele, where'd you go? Where'd you be? Where'd you be? That's $16. So you already have your whole entire box worth. And then you got the makeup eraser, which is $31. Um, and what I'm looking at right now is some icing on the cake here. So we've got Mirad. Now, if you're familiar with this brand, oh, which one is it? It's oh, a good brand. I just just finished using that Rapid Collagen one. I loved it. I literally last night used the last of my little squirty bottle, and I think it was that size. I loved that. It felt amazing, and it lasted a long time. Yeah, I loved that. I'm gonna product. try to open it. I don't want to tear the box. I'm not opening the product, but I do want to show the packaging. Um, so yes, this is definitely an, an amazing product. That's um, this is in 30 ml um, or one fluid ounce, rapid collagen infusion, um, resurgence. So how you apply this, uh, let's see. It plumps the skin surface to minimize the look of lines and wrinkles after just one use. So you can definitely um, 
Oh, it says within two hours. So was that your experience using it? Like when you would use this, would you notice a difference within two hours? Uh, you know, I generally use it before going to bed, but uh, sometimes it was one hour, two hours before. I just, I loved how soft it made my skin feel. I loved that product. I was so sad when I ran out. I was like, man, I like this. Uh, but Murad is a really, really good product. I mean, they make really, really good skincare. So I wasn't surprised. I've gotten a couple others, but that's been probably one of the best because of it being full size. Because some of the other Murad stuff I've gotten have been like little, what I would call like, I call them trial size or travel size, but they're more, I think they call them, um, what does Ipsy like to call them? Um, deluxe samples. Deluxe samples. It's like... You know, you get one or two uses out of it. And I think, I thought a deluxe sample, you're supposed to get three, you know, but I mean, they're just teeny weeny little, and I'm trying to look and see if I have anything around here, or like size of what I'm talking I call, about. I call them squeezy tubes with air in them. <laughs> you know, something tiny. Yeah. You know, or, or a little too, but like, I've gotten little Murad things that have been like this size that like, you know, they don't last that long, but um, I, you know, it's because Murad no. are really, really well known. It's an expensive um, line of, of skincare, but I loved that product. Loved it. Would absolutely like, and I just was like, I just slathered it everywhere. I, you probably, where does it say to use it? It probably says to use it around the eyes, but I actually use it like all over my face and neck because it felt amazing. And I'm an old fart. So you know, and I'm wrinkly and I don't sleep enough. Um, I have dark circles under my eyes. And misogyny over clean face, neck, and chest. So you can just use it. Yeah. All over. I didn't do the chest, yeah. but I, I kept it like. Do you know what MSRP is on this? A lot. The MSRP on this is $78. Yeah. Yeah. It's expensive. That's why I was like, and it was, I loved it, but I was like, I'll never use it <laughs> on my own, but I'm like, I, this is why I love subscription boxes is because I would not go into a store and pick this up for $8. Yeah. Me neither. And be able to experience the amazing mm -hmm. product. Um, but you, I mean, already, you know, as I mentioned, I only paid $39 for this whole box and bam, this is like double the, the, the value. So that's really cool. Whoever wins this is going to be one lucky person I'm telling ya. Um, so, and, oh, wow. <laughs> pick me, pick me, pick me. Uh, we were just talking about this brand. What do I got here? <laughs> oh my God. Uh, which product is it? I can bring it up. This on. is called, um, it's, this is a liquid um, eyeshadow. This is a liquid eyeshadow in Golden Goddess. I bet I can find it. Yep. It's $16. Yep. Hmm. Golden Goddess. I'm looking to see if I can find it. On. So it's a liquid eyeshadow. Mm -hmm. Hmm. I'm surprised I'm not finding it on their website. Of course, everything says sold out too, but brow pencils. Um, there's some bundles. I'm going to look under new arrivals and see if it's in there. So what color is it? Golden goddess. Yeah. I'm surprised I'm not under eyes. Let me see if I can bring you into the, let me share the screen real quick. Um, Okay, hang on. Here we go. So this is, I went under eyes. I clicked on eyes and there's some eyeshadow palettes. The winged liner. 
palette, brow pencil, mascara, there's an eye bundle, and then, so is it, I wonder if it's one of these. So let's bring us back on here. I'm going to pull my. Those look like pencils. Yeah. Yeah, this is uh, this is what this one looks like. <laughs> Maybe those are pencils to go with this. I don't know. But it's a really pretty color. So that was by Ish, Liquid Shadow, Golden Goddess. Directions apply over eyelid using the wand application and blend in with the fingertip. Okay, so that's how you use liquid eye. I don't really use these anyways, so I'm glad this is going to go to somebody that really enjoys liquid eyeshadows. I think it's been a newer thing. Um, I've received that before from FabFitFun in a mystery bundle. Um, it was actually, I think in one of my other ones, I actually, I think I got two of them by accident. Ooh. So while somebody's gonna enjoy this, I still haven't tried mine yet. You know, the interesting thing on their website is... Did you find it yet? No, like nearly everything is sold out. Like what a weird website to have everything. So hang on, I'm going to screen share again. Um, I just find it really odd that like everywhere I click, everything says sold out. It's like, it's like their sold out website. So let's shop all. Um, oh, wow. I, you know, I just, I don't I like, so the brow pencil's not sold out. That's the first thing not sold out. Um, but everything else, <laughs> oh, and their eyelash curler is not sold out. Other than that, I, so there's two items. I mean, I don't, that's just confusing to me. Like really weird, right? I mean, isn't that weird? Only two products. Have that is weird. Like, what if they sell everything to FabFitFun? <laughs> Hang on, let me stop streaming. Oh, wow. That was just, I don't get it. Like, like, why would you have a cosmetics website and then everything is sold out but two products? So that's weird. Do, do you want me to go on the FabFitFun site, did you say, or no? Ooh, my hair is really... Bad hair day. It looks good over here. It's, just, it's very hot and humid. I don't know. And I was laughing because it was like I was. It was like when I came in from outside. I mean, it's so <laughs> you can see how it is. Like it, it was out to here, and I kind of. I know it out, that. But it's, it's starting to climb out again, and it just makes me laugh. It's just very humid. I know what that feels like. Originally from North Dakota, oh, yeah. it's that's. You have nine months of winter and then three months of humidity. That's yeah. all I can explain it. Yeah, that's the <laughs> that pretty much is the Midwest. Yeah, yeah. That's cute. What part of uh, North Dakota were you from? I've only been to Fargo, so can't comment on much of anything else. You, I'm sure you watched the movie Fargo. Oh, you're. you're <laughs> No, I'm from uh, I'm from Oil Boomtown, Williston. Yeah. So there's Minot, 
Williston, Dickinson, Bismarck, Fargo. Those are like the big cities. Yeah. And when I say yeah. big cities, I don't mean anything like, I mean, when I moved, there was maybe 17,000 people in Williston. And then the oil boom hit. And then it went up to like 40,000. Everybody from all over the country was moving to Williston because they could make six figures in the oil boom. Sure. Go work on the oil the oil rigs and make money, you know? And now um, that's all done. It's crashed. Everything's shut down. All the oil production in North Dakota is down. So everybody moved now to the town that exploded with apartments and I'm telling you, there's more ho hotels within the vicinity. <laughs> like I, I fly in once a year and I'm like, what's with all these hotels popping up everywhere? Now they're all vacant. Everything's vacant. There's all these new houses developed because this small town wasn't ready for the influx of people. I mean, people from Vegas moving in, people from other countries were moving in because they knew they could go make money yeah and now everybody's leaving and everything's vacant everything's done that's so it's, it's very sad it's very sad but that's that's my home that's where i'm from originally <laughs> yeah. i've only ever been to fargo so i've been to the fargo dome the famous fargo dome on the university campus but uh yeah yeah, um, that's the Midwest. Winter and then humidity. Mm -hmm. Pretty much. My last time in Fargo, um, I used to teach Taekwondo. I taught Taekwondo for about six years. And the last time I was in Fargo was, uh, this is kind of crazy how this is kind of wrapping around. Um, it was a, a championship of U.S. versus Canada. <laughs> oh, wow. That's cool. And I, I took third for adult women. Um, so, yeah, it was really cool. That was the last time I was there, 2002. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's 18 years ago. Or no, I'm sorry. 2004. Okay. 2004. Yeah. Still yeah I was a senior in college. And uh, my husband who was my boyfriend at the time, he actually pawned off his uh, guitar amp oh. so that I could go to my state championship. Oh, <laughs> wow. That's yeah. So him. Yeah. So. He's a keeper. Mm -hmm. Well, it's been, what, 14, 16 years now? Yeah. Yeah. So... But anyway, back to this product. I have received this before. I know it's a valid product from Ish. Um, I received it in my last mystery bundle. So this is a good brand. Um, well, I don't know exactly what is going on with the brand, but it's a very pretty liquid eyeshadow. You'll be very happy um, when you do receive this to use it. Um, and I, I believe I mentioned that was $16. Okay, and the next item that I have here, I'm sure you've seen these before. These are silicone straws. Yep, I got those, yes. It's a nice idea because straws so these are, are so good. What was that? Straws are just so bad for the environment. Yeah. I've seen these before. So you get um, four straws. They're silicone, so they're squishy. And then you get this like random pill case thing. But you can like fold the straw up and stick it in here and put in your purse and have a straw on the go. Well, if you're um, in any place like I am now in California where it's like, I don't know if there's like a ban on straws. <laughs> you have a straw anytime you want to go anywhere. 
Um, and these are $20 value. So I'm adding everything up. Um, so we got 20, 78, 16, 31, 22, 16.99. Okay. And then the last, but not, I mean, well, I guess it is the least. Um, the last item in here is a packing cube. So these are Cal Pack packing cubes. Wow. Nice. So you can see they're really pretty in the color. Oops. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw the box down here because this is getting So these have like three different sizes. Um, make sure you can see them in the camera. So you got the small, medium, and large um, three piece set ensemble. You can use these for storage, fits perfectly into luggage, drawers, uh, tote bags, gym bags, trunk space, and more. So they're really cool, very summery, um, and very usable. I mean, who can't use some storage or, you know, organizing type cubes? We Those are cool. Have... And these are, oh, where's my cheat sheet? We went on a cruise last summer oh, and oh. I loved packing cubes. They were awesome. Yep. These are $40 right here. So with everything added at $40, $16.99, $22, $15, $22, $15, $22, $15 16, 78 and $20, $238.99 value wow. for $39.99. Pick me, pick me, pick me. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. But that's, you know what? I mean, that's kind of fab fit fun. You get, so the regular quarterly subscription is about $50, but you get a ton of stuff. And you know, for the spring box, I got um, that cardigan. I think a couple people um, were getting them in other boxes. Um, I can't remember if they still had them in the summer box, but I know I got mine in the spring and I've been wearing it. I actually wear it at work and I really love it. So, I mean, they give them some it's really fun. good, it's not just cheesy products. It's really nice stuff. Yeah. Let me. Is that the one? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I received that in um, the same box that you're talking about. I, I have that one too. Yeah. Made by Somewhere women. Here. <laughs> it's called Donna. Yes. <laughs> Rib sweater coat. They keep our office really cool. <clears throat> so it's really nice. I, you know, oftentimes I'll have to wear a cardigan or something if I'm chilled. Um, and uh, I, I find I wear it a, about once a week or every other week. So it's been nice. It has pockets. <laughs> yep, it has pockets. It's very usable. So that was one of the options. I mean, there's so many different things that you could have received. Um, <clears throat> yeah. I mean, I think it was a great value. Um, I think there were some awesome products in it. Yeah. And yeah, so I, I'm excited. That that was everything though that I received. I don't know what what did you think? What was your favorite out of the, the editor's box? Boy. Um Boy. I mean, you got a lot of stuff, so I'm trying to think. Um, yeah, that's a, that's a hard one. And it wasn't the eyeshadow or liquid eyeshadow. I'm trying to think of what, oh, the Murad. I would, I would be all over the Murad. I loved my, mm -hmm. I loved that Murad. That stuff was awesome. Yeah. yeah, that would be my, I think that would be my, I'll take that. 
<laughs> that was wonderful. I really liked that product a lot and was really sad when I like I literally used the last of it up last night and I was like, man, I'm bombed. Um, so it was a great product to get. And I can't remember if, isn't that terrible? I just don't remember. I get all these boxes and they all arrive like boom, boom, boom. And I, I, it might've been in a fab fit fun box. Um, it had been that or boxy charm cause it was full size product. So, um, I bet it yeah. came in my, um, my fab fit fun. Um, cause it, you know, I've got a bunch of other little, little things here. Um, but yeah, this is kind of what I mean by like little trial size sample size deluxe sample yeah or, or you were saying you were saying these little squeezy things full of air yeah it's just air you know um i got a whole bunch of little fun things here hey have you tried this yet what is it it's the no, no more the no pro pore blem prime essence it's a primer it's no pore blem it's a, it's a company that's I've gotten a couple of these, but this is a full size and it's their calendula flower extract. Uh, it's touch and soul is the company. Does that sound familiar? Oh, I haven't tried that. Yeah. So this is, is it good. No, no poor blem prime essence. Um, so it's, I believe a primer. It says prime essence infused with calendula flower extract tightens up the pores and keeps the skin silky and smooth for better and long lasting makeup. So, um, I, yeah, I, I'm hanging on to that because I'm using up a couple of like primers that are like the deluxe sample size ones because, you know, before I get into like another one. So I'm trying to use up, I think I have like three kind of smaller ones that I'm rotating through using, um, but I'm, mm -hmm. I'm pretty excited to try this because I've heard some good things about it. Um, yeah, I have, it's kind of fun. I, it is fun to look through this stuff, um, see if there's anything this Yenza Super 8 lip oil. Have you tried that yet? No, I have not. Um, the lip oil that I'm using right now is, where is it? This one's weird. It's like bright pink. If there I'm is. remembering this correctly. Is it? Oh, it is. It's this, it's this one, right? Yeah, what do you think of it? Yeah, that's the one. Oops. Yes. I, I thought I recognized the name. Yeah, you're, it's easier to see it. I really the, like it. Do you? I haven't tried it yet, so it's still in its box. I got a whole pile of stuff I haven't tried yet because, I mean, you just can't use everything. Um, so there's, I've got an NYX. Um, it's a lippy, and I don't know if I'm going to use it. I haven't opened it yet, but it's, it's. so I think I'm going to put this in a um, in a giveaway probably because it's, it's really dark. Um it's called uh, Lipley. So this is NYX. It's Lipley. Okay. You can even tell it's a really like dark kind of. Uh, is it blue? No, no. I know. It's hard to see. Like it's the reflection of the freaking ring lights. So let me see if I turn it off. Oh, oh that, well, that warms it up. Mm. <laughs> did that change it? It did a little bit. You're getting like a bat. Oh, well, that was good. Let me turn this one off. It's more like of a brown color. Yeah, it's like a dark burgundy, brownish burgundy. Yeah, it's called Lipley. Okay. But it's NYX, which is really good. But I don't, you know, I, I this would be one I don't think I would go and use very often. So I don't want to waste it because it's full size. So I am actually going to put that in my grab bag of goodies. Um, I have all this stuff sitting in here. And then didn't we, did we get this in a lure? Uh, it's cargo, cargo, Cosmetics, and it's, it's a highlighter. Um, I gotta be careful. I just bumped a button on the computer, but it's like a little, um, little highlighter. Um, it's real pretty. Um, so it's called cargo. Is it I don't want to touch it because I've never swatched it. Cargo cosmetics, um, champagne. It's like an illuminator. Um, cargo cosmetics. So that's one I've, you know, I've looked at it, but I've never touched it. I've never swatched it. And I don't know that I'm going to use it. It's, it's such a pretty, I mean, the champagne color is it's shimmery and there's some sparkle. It's that beautiful champagne color, but you know, it's a highlighter and I don't do that. And I, you could probably use it for other purposes. Um, I bet you could probably use it around the eyes, but 
it just seems to be to be a waste. So I'm going to put that in a, a giveaway as well. There, these are like, I have this box. It's one of my uh, glossy. It's a, I think this is a glossy. Um, well, the name isn't even on it, but yeah, there's the bottom. But I have a whole bunch of like, I can't decides in here. <laughs> Like I haven't opened them and I'm like, I'm right. on the fence. Like, am I going to use it? Am I not? Like I've got this mud masky. I'm definitely going to use this. It's a, it's a sleep, renewal, sleep repair, renewal, renewal, nourishing mask. Wow. I can't, can't talk, but that's one I know I'm going to use. And I know I'm going to use this no problem. And I'm trying to like keep them away from like, cause they have a tendency to like grab all these little trial sizes and like my bathroom right now, like, my husband's like, what is all this? And I'm like, oh, it's all these things I'm trying. And he's like, can you stick to like five or six and not 25? So I haven't had the, Le the Yenza lip oil. I haven't swatched it yet. I have another one. So this is another um, lip oil. I don't know if you've tried it, but it's it's hard to miss because it's incredibly bright. But it's it's this one, In Beauty Project. IBP and it is I've never heard of that. It is ooh, uh, as I drop it. Um, it's glaze number one lip oil. Yeah, I hadn't okay. heard I haven't heard I hadn't heard of these guys before. Um, so it's another kind of funky looking lip oil. Um, <laughs> it's you know, it's just it's very similar to the other, like that really bright this is a more of a deep red, you know, that other one that, you know, we were looking at is more of a pink and I don't know if it's the bottle, but it's, it is that like really red, red, blood red color. So that's what it looks like. Glaze number one. Uh, yeah. That one's more of a magenta, like fluorescent. <laughs> this one's more like, um, well, there, I don't know. You get a little glare, but it's, I'd call it more yeah. blood red than that other one is, is definitely more of like magenta, you know, very highlighter pink, very bright. Um, yes. So when it comes to lip oils, isn't it just like the same as a gloss? I think so. <laughs> you know, um, I, it's just, I don't know. So that one, everybody freaked. I remember everybody on social media freaked out. Show, show everybody that pink one again you had. They were all flipping out about the color and they're like, I would never wear something this color. And, and, and I'm like, well, if you read the box, it says it dries down to a, like a barely light pink. It's not like this. You're not putting on something that bright on your lips. I mean, it doesn't show up that bright, right? You used it. No, I just, I just put some on. Yeah. I'll swatch it. Yeah. So it's, like you can barely see it. Yeah. And everybody was like, yeah, it's pretty. It's super pretty. Um, so I just thought it was really funny. Everybody was kind of losing their mind. They're like, oh my God. It's like, well, so I, I like know. to put this on when I go to work because like there's hardly any color to it. Right. And you know, wearing a mask, right. you know. <laughs> so I've got this full size the girl gal. Um, it's Tonya Crooks. Uh, instant brown hair number two tinted brow gel with microfibers. It's basically mascara for your eyebrows. And I don't, I'll never use this. So this one's going to go, as you can see, it's still in its little um, packaging. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm familiar with this one, the brow gal, but I'm going to put that in my giveaway bag. I've, I've heard of it before. So, um, what is this one? Speak of the devil, my my complaint before, remember talking about lip pencils? So here's Bodyography. Um, it's a two-pack, and I, I remember I opened this, but I don't think I swatched any of them. These, I think, were um, cool. Whoa. I'm dropping them. Jeez Louise. <laughs> Um, but these, these I looked at, and these, they looked nice, but again, it's like a, it's like a freaking number two pencil. So I don't, yeah. I didn't, I did not so actually swatch these because I'm like, I'll never use these because they hurt. So they're pretty colors. There's rosewood and pouty. 
and they're pretty colored. I'm not even going to try. You know, the sad, sad thing is, is I'm like, oh, I'll give them a try. They'll be, I'm sure it's improved. And then it's like, I feel like I'm wasting the, the product. So that one's going in the grab bag. Um, and I have another, I have another self tanning thing. And I think you got this too, didn't you? In Allure, it's the St. Trapez. Didn't you get um, um what month was that? Because there was a few months I had an issue with the lore. Maybe um, because yeah. yeah, I didn't receive that because I, I something happened with my debit card, my oh, bank, right. like froze. Yeah. yeah. And it took like four months to get a lore back on track. It was ridiculous. Yeah. So it comes but with a map. It comes with, like, it comes with like an applicator mitt, which is really nice, but I'm putting that in, in my giveaway bag. Cause I won't use that. Um, and here's another one. I, Vita, Vita Liberata advanced organics, phenomenal up to 10 days from one application organic tan infused cloth for face and body. So it's a cloth, it's a self tanning cloth. And I'm, I just, um, I, you know, I'm not going to use this. So it sounds like you get a 10 day tan out of it. Uh, and it's, you know, it's, it's a couple of these little packets. So there's, there's two of them. Right. Um, so, which is nice, but I won't use that. Um, so I'm going to put that in my little grab bag. Um, and then we've mm -hmm. talked about we've talked about this brand a lot. So have you gotten Spongella's hand cream? I do, do have it. I have been using it. It's I love it. I was super excited to get that. Yeah, I I am not giving yeah. this one away. I don't think yet. But um, I know we've talked about this brand before, and I'm still loving the. Um, the facial cleanser I got, the Perlis. Remember the um, oh, yes. full size? Oh, that is, I love that. The charcoal um, watermelon cl facial cleanser. I'm loving it. So this is the matcha green tea and lemon detoxifying charcoal mask. I know I'll use this because I'm really loving my Perlis stuff that I've been getting. So, um, but there's some other, this, this is Beliefs, the True Cream Aqua Bomb Aloe Vera. That was really recent. And this, I haven't had a chance to use and everybody's all excited that I got this. It's a Moroccan oil. It's um, hair treatment. And it's, you know, it, this, it's little, it's a little 3.34 ounce. Um, let me see if I can get it. Uh, that's probably the best way to view okay. it. Okay. Everybody's like, oh, Moroccan go. oil, Moroccan oil is amazing. And I'm not sure I'll use this. I'm real careful about. I guess I'm weird about hair products, but um, you apply a small amount throughout damp or dry hair and that style. So it's just a little, I don't know. That might go into a giveaway because I just, I don't see myself being adventurous, adventurous enough to use that. But my favorite one that I keep telling everybody I'm going to use and I haven't used it yet is this lip scrub from Tree Hut Sugar Lips. It smells like brown. It's brown sugar. It's a brown sugar scrub and it smells amazing. Oh my gosh. It smells like brown sugar. Mm, yeah. So I don't, I, you know, it still has the safety seal on it, but you can smell it. That yummy smell of like warm mm -hmm. brown sugar. Oh, yum. So, yeah. So there's some other stuff in here. Like, here we go. So remember I had the mud masky. I've got two mud maskies. So there this, you go. This is the Sleep Repair Renewal Nourishing Mask. It's a little smaller. And then this one is the After Mask Vitamin Serum. So that's really cool. You know, you got like their line of product. So, yeah. Some fun stuff. And I don't Olay Eyes. I was kind of surprised this came in, in one of my boxes. It's So it's obviously oil of Olay, but it's Olay Eyes. It's their Pro Retinol Eye Treatment. And I was kind of surprised to get an Olay I think that can yeah, that's you know that's a very like a like um original brand yeah Olay. For sure. so uh, that was surprising but uh, you know there's a few other things in here this is the other one I haven't sugar coat sugar rush and the color is sprinkle it's another lippy um and I'm not sure I'm gonna use it because it's not really a color I probably wouldn't um. 
I don't know. It's kind of similar to the other the one. Yeah. Is this the same one? Yeah. Is is the color called sprinkle? Uh, yep. Yeah. So I haven't really. I that'll go. This ahead. is actually one of my favorites is because it? it is so smooth. But the color and I'm it doesn't. Sure. Um, the color is actually not terrible. Um, there, there's a swatch. So it's kind of like a. Let's yeah, see if I can get a good you know color. Like it's kind yeah. of like a pinkish brown tone, like a, did, a brown undertone. I did swatch this. I did brown, so I'm I'm pulling it back out because I did swatch it on my hand. Um, and then, did you get this Decorte Liposome Moisture Liposome? Um, I feel like this maybe was a lure, but it could have been Ipsy or something. Um, no. I did not receive that one. So that, this, mm -mm. this probably was Ipsy. Uh, I haven't tried this yet. So, you know, <laughs> you gotta love it. It says, it says not for sale. <laughs> um, you know, obviously it's moisture. Lip, so hydration boosting serum. Um, so, you know, it's another serum. I'll probably at some point try it. I put this on my bathroom counter. I'll get screamed at, but. <laughs> what are you doing when you got to use up so i've been trying to use up product but um i've got a lot of stuff yet that's in my um i, I would call it my bathroom pantry but you know in my bathroom closet so i got a bunch of like full-size products that i haven't used yet and then i did get did you get these um it's high high five cannabis facial moisturizer this has be kind of become no, all I is, is um, they're putting cannabis in a lot of, of um, facial products I'm seeing. So I'm curious. I haven't really tried them yet. Mm -hmm. and to, but again, I'm trying so many other products. <laughs> so, um, right. I, that one's, yeah, I will, I will try it. You know, and that's like a single sample. I mean, it's just a little, little packet. So it's like one of the little sample sizes. And I can't remember. Yeah, this it might work. Come, this might have come in my pure mystery. Um, and then did I show you this? Did you see this one? My pure festival? Oh, no. So this is, is that a palette? palette? I so I did them pure. I did a pure mystery or whatever box, mystery box. It's sort of. Anyway, this is the palette I got. And it's bold and really, really pretty. And I haven't swatched it yet. And it's got a really big mirror on it. So I don't want to blind everybody. But um, it's quite it's quite pretty oh you know oh me... that's so pretty oh ugh. <laughs> there try to turn that off maybe it'll be a little less glare or maybe not oh my gosh the glare is bad um but it's got some really bold colors um some really good glitters in there oh geez i guess it's my overhead lighting is just awful um ooh, i can't do this tone though you gotta love ring light is that pressed glitter so there's uh, there's one let's see there's free spirit is glittery psychedelic good vibes is glittery gypsy this purple glitter sharissa is so pretty and the reason why it's reflective is is the little um safety seal is still over it um so mm -hmm. that, that's actually a, a purple um there next to the pink it's not really showing up well but it's like wow a deep plum and it's so pretty it's so pretty, but I haven't pulled it off to swatch anything because, you know, it keeps it clean. You know, I don't want to in start introducing the bacteria until I'm ready to use it kind of thing. Exactly. You know, once you start using these and you your clock is ticking and before at some point they're going to go bad. So, um, yeah, yeah. The color is gypsy. And I don't know if that even is any better, but. Um, oh, yeah, I can see the purple now. It's a mm -hmm. really deep pretty purple color um so that is the you know the palette um and i mean some of those some of these ones on the edge here like the glitters are like legit major glitter so that's an interesting palette that i'm i haven't say, saved aside because i'm like like you said once you start touching them then you're introducing bacteria and you're you're kind of ticking time bomb and i keep thinking about it in the morning but like they're pretty bold and I'm like, 
I'm not ready to use it yet. So yeah, I this morning I used one of my. I can't wear anything like that at my work. Yeah, I, I right, I know. So I put on, I grabbed one of my Zoeva palettes, and I've been doing this the last. I guess it wasn't all. So Monday I used my um, my um, Too Faced Born Pretty palette, and I did a real pink. And then I started. I was like, I got to use more of the Zoevas, and I have to say they're fantastic. I like that the palettes I've got. I've got it's a, a box of three. And um, there's uh, 10 shades on each palette. And I'm speaking of losing your voice. Um, and they are highly pigmented and so easy to use. I love them. So I, I threw on, which is kind of more of a, a subtle color, um, kind of golds and browns. Mm -hmm. And then I've got um, some of one of my kinder lashes on there, which one of my bold kinder lashes. It's probably easier if I stick my head down but they're so pretty they are they're wild i think i mentioned before in the, our last live stream i am not uh lash friendly um my friend is going to like sit down and like help me put lashes on i just i have such sensitive eyes that me too sometimes yeah. even wearing eyeliner and certain eyeshadows makes my eyes just i get the crusties at the end and it just makes some water plus i wear contact lenses so it's like i don't know absolutely I'm really freaked out about my eyes and then if i have to wear sunglasses <laughs> these they're gonna catch on them these tickle on my sunglasses and it makes me giggle because i'm like oh that's the weirdest feeling but yeah i you absolutely i you know i have very sensitive eyes and i absolutely have to make sure i get every ounce of makeup off and i get all the lash glue off and by the end of the day like my eyes are starting they're tired i didn't sleep well last night i mean when we were messaging back and forth it was after midnight here um last night and so and I, my alarm goes off at like 5 30 so it was like it was a late night but um yeah i have a a pair of sunglasses here and like it's it they tickle like the inside of the sunglasses it's it's so funny it's like it just feels it feels weird it just makes me laugh when i wear them but they're fun you know and the reason why i started wearing them a lot first of all i really like the box i love the kinder lashes box but um you know, I'm wearing a mask and there's, you, there's, there's not a lot of like, you can not do a whole lot with like your makeup or anything or any looks because you know, it's, you're covered from, you know, and so that's why I'm doing all the different colors of, um, you know, eyeshadows. And then it's fun to just use the bold eye, eyelashes and uh, some of my, my gal pals at work, you know, I first started doing it when I first came back. Cause I was actually working from home for a couple months. And then I went back to work June 1st in the office and masked up. And I'm like, I said, I'm just going to start. I said, it's, it's an expression. I can't use my lipsticks. You know, I'm not putting any other makeup on, you know, so it's kind of fun. And they're, they're, they're fun. They just make me laugh. I was like, I'm like, I got like caterpillars on my eyes, but now I, everybody's like, Oh my God, I love them. And I'm like, you should subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> 20 bucks a month for four pairs of lashes. And I've looked, I mean, there's a lot of lash description boxes out there. Um, and a lot of them are like single lashes for 12 bucks. Um, or you might get three lashes for like 22 to $25. So I really feel like this kinder lashes, um, subscription box is a really good deal. And I've worn these probably upwards of a dozen times and they're still going strong. Like they're not, you know how you get the ones, awesome. you get the ones out of the, like out of like target or CVS or they're, uh, the Ardell's they're, they're pretty much a one and done these, if you care for them and it takes a little bit of care to get the glue off, but they last, they last a long time. So you get your money's worth four pairs for 20 bucks They They tell you that if you care for them, the last 25 wears, I don't think I'm that gentle with them, but um, they're they're lasting a dozen times, and I'm loving it. So I've still got. Um, I'm not even sure if I've tried any of the pairs from my most recent box because I am still enjoying the first box. 
Uh, and I think this is the last pair from my first box. So they're pretty fun, but there are some good tricks to, to applying lashes. And I, I certainly still occasionally get them a little off center and I just, I'm like, whatever. <laughs> so, and I, these, the I've got a couple here to try. Yeah. I've got um, mink. Oh, whoops. Yeah. It's like upside down. Oh, those, those are, look really nice. Those are pretty. I know. Oh my gosh, you need to wear those. Those are really pretty. Does it come with? Um, they've just been sitting in my my cabinet here and my drawer. They never come with glue. You're gonna have to buy the duo glue. So. Gosh, I can't even. Oh, oh there we go. Okay. Yeah, no, these do not, these are just the lashes. So I I, I do plan um, to take some time and learn how to do these so that I'm comfortable with them. You know, um, because you right now, as you mentioned, this is what people are seeing is your eyes. You have to have a nice smile. We should do a live stream. What I call my. We should do a live stream where we go through putting on them on a pair of lashes. Do like a, um, you know, okay. how to put your lashes on. Because there's definitely some tips and tricks to it. Um, you know, you got to have, in my opinion, at least a set of tweezers. So, and then you're going to need to get your glue. And so I use, I think everybody pretty much uses Duo glue. And Duo sells a bunch of different kinds. Um I don't like, I own two bottles of, they call it brush on and it's, I, I don't, I, I, I realized I don't like it. I bought a two pack and I don't like it because the brush, this is a nail thing, but the brush is like this. It's kind of a solid end. So I like the, the little, okay. um, you know, it, it's kind of a, 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 it's kind of like this about this size of, um, of just the glue. And, um, so I like that, but you can get it in clear and you can get it in um dark so like my next you know it lasts forever too <laughs> it lasts forever because you don't use a whole very much but um the next right. one of that i'm gonna get the duo i'm gonna get the black because i always wear black eyeliner um yeah. right now i'm using clear and then i just go over it with my liquid eyeliner um so I'm going to try the black, but, um, so you'll want at least the tweezers. Um, and you, you want a little, um, I would call it like a manicure scissors because you need to, you need to test them for your eyelash length and trim off the ends. So, because they always mm -hmm. come really long and you know, you, you need it to look natural. You don't want it like these just hang off the ends because they're just, they just are so long, but, um, they do come longer than most people's eyelash eyelid length. So you always trim them down a little bit. Um, and um, so you need the lash glue. You need at least a pair of tweezers. And they do make like tweezers that are specifically for applying eyelashes. Yeah, the little swoop one. The little funky looking ones. Yeah. And I mean, you know, I've used them. I For a long time, I used my regular tweezers and I go back and forth. Sometimes I get annoyed by the like the eyelash applicators. They drive me crazy. And then I go back for like a week and I'm using my regular tweezers. It doesn't make whatever. Um, or I use both. <laughs> I've been known, like when I'm having a I can't get anything applied day, I'm like I'm in there with both. Like I won't do that. <laughs> um, <laughs> what I found is that I've been reusing them too much, and I haven't gotten the old glue off, and that's that's on me. That's my bad because you you know you have to get the old glue off to, on these on these ones that are meant to not be quite so disposable, but. Um, yeah. And I, you know, the other thing is I don't have any of my makeup brushes here, but you know, the makeup brushes that are just very thin, like thin, tiny pencil length. They're like, um, they're basically to use your liquid pot eyeliner. So it's a, it's a little eyeliner, um, you know, so use that. And so what I do is I put on the back of my hand a little, and I mean, just a little bit of, of the eyelash glue. And then um, I'll use, this is like my, my eye, you know, my brush. And you just, you draw it on with the glue on, like it's a liquid eyeliner. 
And then you literally uh -huh. just on the eyelash put a very barely anything there amount of just a little little bit of eyelash glue. And I always put a just a little extra on the ends because it's always the ends that don't want to and um and then just on they go. And I have found that's the best way because I find that if I if I don't put it on my eyelid and I just put the glue on the eyelashes. They tend to slide all over, but when I do it this way, they just boom, they stick right on and they're they're easy that way. So the trick is in, like I said, you just put a little dab on the back of your hand. You use that little um, you know, uh eyeliner gel itty bitty brush that has like eight hairs on it, you know, and you just a little yeah. bit, you know. And then while you're you let that sit while, while you're putting it on the eyelash because the trick people think is they're like, Oh my God, I got the glue on. I got to jam it on there. You actually need to like, let it sit for 30, 60, 45, two minutes to let it start to dry down and really tackify. And then it just, they stay right on. So you'll see a lot of people will be like mm -hmm. blowing on it. It's like, because you're trying to get the gel to start or the, not the gel, sorry, the glue to set. The glue. Because um, that's the other thing. If I'm in a hurry and I can't let it like wait, it, it just slides all over. So that has been my best go-to is is putting a little on my hand and like drawing it on like it's eyeliner and then just, you know, dropping it on there. And like this morning, I it went so well. I was like, finally, one day where my eyelashes go on and I'm not like, Rah! Yay! Yeah, one out of like five days. Have because you ever tried like, the magnetic? I have, and they drive me crazy. So is that the one I have tried the, you know, the tops and bottoms that clip on, those are impossible to do. And then I've tried the ones where the, like the eyeliner is liquid. It's like a liquid eyeliner that's me metallic. But the mm -hmm. problem I have with that is it's so like cakey thick. It works, but it's almost like it's, it feels like a liquid eyeliner that's dried up. It almost feels like a crayon on there, but it does work, but it makes me nervous because they're not really like on there, like glue, like, you know, like I can pull on these and they're not going anywhere, but it, like those would pop off because it's just a magnet. And then the other thing that makes me nervous is that eyeliner that has the magnetic, you know, has whatever the magnet is made. Yeah. You're putting like metal shards along your eye line. And I'm like, I don't know if that's a great idea or not. Like, there's clearly something oh. metal in there that the that the because you know the eyelid the eyelashes have you know magnets on them. And I'm like, so whatever is in the eyeliner is gotta have metal in it. And I'm like, so I'm putting something with like metal shards on. I'm like, I don't know if this is a good idea. So I just kind of quit. I know. And then I pitched, I literally pitched them. I was like, I don't, I don't think this is a great idea. I don't know. I've also got these ones too. These look beautiful. <gasps> Ooh, those are pretty. You need to wear those. Those are so pretty. These are, um, the oldest stories are written in the stars. Rogue and rogue. Rogue and rogue. Oh, they're so pretty. I mean, look how long they are. They're so, amazing. I don't know. I would just, I would feel like I would have like a bug on my eye or something. Shout out to. I'm going to uh, try. I'm going to give it a shot. Shout out to Sharpshooter. Sharp uh, I probably missed him. I totally missed this when we were talking about stuff, but uh, he's probably come and gone. But if you're here, shout out to you, my friend. Um, he's from, uh, if I remember, Afghanistan, I believe. He's a um, does a lot of um, like cinematography type stuff, um, showing people around parts of um, where he lives in Afghanistan, and it's it's amazing the landscaping. It's it's really an incredible place. Awesome. So he's a photographer, but anyway, I I absolutely apologize that I completely missed his his uh, texts that came up in the live chat. So, uh, but yeah, those are pretty, Sharissa. You need to wear those, man. Your husband, you need to go on a date night with those with your husband. He's gonna be like, wow, those are pretty. <laughs> you know, he'll look at me and be like, you can. What's on your eye? eye. <laughs> my my husband, my husband's like. He looks at me and this is literally his face. He's like, 
like literally like screwed up. He's like, what are you wearing? <laughs> I said, do you like the caterpillars on my eyes? And I batted my eyes and he's like, he kind of looked at me and he kind of looked and he goes, oh, you know, yeah, I kind of like that. <laughs> But he first looked at me like, what is wrong with your face? <laughs> but I don't, I don't have, I don't have good natural eyelashes. I don't, they're, they're very fine and thin and short. And so like, you can't even see my bottoms. I, and I don't put mascara on because I'm like you, I got real sensitive eyes and I used to wear contacts and mascara would drive me crazy. So yeah. Yeah, it does sometimes, but I want to say that I was blessed with some pretty, yeah, uh, long lashes. They're pretty long. Of course, that's with mascara. I put Thrive mascara on. Um, is that a lengthener or this one? Uh, is, is it a lengthening one or is this it? This is my favorite. I love using this. Camera. Yeah. Hmm. Is it a, a lengthening oh, or a volumizing one? This is, of course. <laughs> Extension. Lengthening. Yeah. Sorry, everything's in cursive. So I'm like, what does that say? Yeah. Extension. Okay. Absolutely. So, so I like this one because it's a small little brush. It's very easy to apply to both the top and the bottom. Yeah. And um, I don't know if it's like legit hyper, hypoallergenic, but I don't have any issues when I wear this one. Yeah, I have found, I found that my eyes would itch with certain mascaras. Oh, I like this one, it's pretty good. You should try this sometime, it's good. What I recommend this one. What is it called again? Thrive Cosmetics okay. Extensions. Yeah. Here. Liquid Lash Extension. It's pretty. I have got so many mascaras from like Ipsy and all. And I finally was like, you know, they, a lot of them will do the questions. And I'm like, stop sending me mascara. I have so much mascara. I probably have 30 bottles of, you know, the little, I'm like, stop sending it to me. I can't, I cannot use this much mascara. I'm like, stop sending me so much. Cause it was like every month I got a mascara. I'm like, stop. Yeah. <laughs> And it, you little should, samples. You should, yeah. They I just are. give them to my friends. They are. They're little samples, and yeah. you should. You shouldn't. You know, you should not keep a mascara for more than sixty days because it, it's full of bacteria, and that's why your eyes itch. But I just don't wear mascara. Yeah. I had such bad problems when I wore contacts. I just don't wear mask, and I don't have great lashes. So I'm like, all I'm showing everybody is how awful my lashes are. So that's why the the falsies are fun. They're just fun. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> but you know, okay. So we've been on, we're about at two and a half hours. We're probably about ready to be done, but, um, I'm trying to figure out. So, you know, nobody really qualified for our giveaways. You do what you want. I think, um, yeah, I'll just, I'll just keep my grab bag available. I feel like, you know, maybe part of the problem was that we, we, a little knee jerk reaction on scheduling this um, live stream. So I think we should schedule one, um, you know, a little farther out to give people a little more notice. I mean, I, I posted a con not what you call it a comment, but you know, I put a post on my, on my channel, you know, saying, Hey, you know, I think I did it on Monday. I'm like, you know, Sharissa's is hoping that her box will arrive and that we'll be able to do this live stream on Wednesday. I'm like, so keep an eye out here, you know, I'll put it out here. And, um, I was supposed to actually do a live stream last night with my friend Megan. We do an equestrian themed live stream every week, but um, we both, where we live, we strong storms moved through the Midwest yesterday. And I mean, oh my God, um, 
my friend Connor, who um, shout out to Connor. Connor JC is his channel on YouTube. He messaged me like an hour into what is supposed to have been into the live stream. And I, we had finally gotten our internet back. He's like, where are you? Your live stream. He's like, I stayed awake for your live stream. I'm like, oh my God, Connor. I'm like, uh, you know, I'll go in. We're rescheduling it. But I'm like, we are, it was still storming like crazy, but we finally got our internet back. I'm like, I, if I'm in the middle of a major thunder. Like it was like two and a half hours of mega storms. You know how occasionally that rolls through the Midwest. Um, oh yeah. And I'm like, I'm like, we're rescheduling for Thursday because, but neither one of us was, you know, ha I, I didn't have internet for over an hour and she, you know, she, you know, I finally got a hold of her and she's like, oh, I'm so glad that we're not doing it. Cause she's like, it's, it's a, just, you know, she was getting hit hard. I was getting hit hard. And, um, so we're doing it tomorrow. <laughs> so I feel really bad that all these people are like, oh my God, you scheduled it yesterday and then you never showed up. And it's like, I couldn't show up. I didn't have any internet. <laughs> Nothing. Yeah. No, I know what that's like. Remember right. a couple of weeks ago when um, the servers went down for what T-Mobile, Verizon, Sprint. Remember that? Yeah. Yeah. I'm a, a Sprint slash T-Mobile customer. And yeah, it was a total like, what's going on? Metro. Yeah. Yeah. And I couldn't get a hold of my son all day. I was at work. Why isn't he answering his phone? Why is his phone not even ringing? Why won't my husband respond to me? What's going on? Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. So anyway, I feel really bad, but um, you know, maybe we should try to schedule something for like in a week um, or maybe two weeks. Um, I've got a, I've got a little vacation with the husband. My my brother and his wife and my husband and I, we're, we're doing a Harley ride. We're renting Harleys um, awesome. and it's just a two day thing, one overnight. Um, Cause you can't really, it's, you really can't go anywhere right now. Like, so we're just going to like sightsee. We'll find a hotel in some small town that seems fairly or smaller town, somewhere that seems relatively safe, stay overnight and then, you know, drive back um, to the rental place the next day and turn them in. It's just a two day trip, but um, and that's over the weekend, but, um, so I don't know. I mean, um, oh, but I do have, I, you know what I ended up doing? I ended up taking off. Um, do you know your schedule for next week? You know I never find out my schedule until Sunday night. I know it stinks because, um, that's just the way it is. But um, my son's birthday is also coming up this month on the 22nd. So I'm going to make sure that I am off on the 22nd and the 25th because we're not sure which days we're going to have a party. So I just want to make sure I have those two days off. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I don't know what my next week schedule is yet. It's just so random. Yeah. So, um, yeah. I think I took off and for some reason it's not pulling into my calendar here. It just drives me crazy. Um, I think I took off next Thursday afternoon and all day Friday. Cause we're doing the, the, the ride Friday, Saturday. Cause originally we were going to, um, the, the place we thought we were going to be renting from was going to be like a long drive away. So I was like, we were going to do half the drive on Thursday, but now that all got, they didn't have the bikes that we wanted um, at that place. So we're, we're going somewhere else. Um, so anyway, I mean, as far as like the daytime thing, I could do, otherwise I work during the, I, I literally have like an office job and I work during the days, but we'll have to try to figure something out. Yeah. Maybe a couple of weeks. Um, I'm trying to, you know, with this whole pandemic thing, like I couldn't do, I, I haven't done any, like I have hardly used any of my paid vacation leave from work. And so I'm kind of trying to start using it because it's like half the year has gone already and I've barely touched my vacation. So I'm trying to take off like Fridays. So I don't know. Yeah. Something but evenings are, you know, relatively doable for me. So I generally, like I said, I have a, um, an equestrian themed live stream I do once a week and, um, uh, that fluctuates <laughs> on her schedule <laughs> because she's, she, um, often has to, if she's going to take clients to horse show, she's gone, but, um, yeah, maybe we can do something like, um, 
you know, putting on eyelashes. <laughs> yeah, we could do like an eyelash type video and a surprise giveaway, I right. guess. But right. the, other, um, the other thing is I've got a whole bunch of boxes that are going to start showing up. What about you? I'm expecting glossy box, allure, all of them. They're all just rolling in. So, right? Tribes coming. Ipsy will be here. Um, I have a, a load coming in too. Yeah. So I know wow. I'm surprised my glossy box didn't show up because I got the ship notice and I thought they thought it would show up today, but it'll probably come tomorrow. So I've got that. Um, and oh, did I tell you the story on that? No. Oh, they make me so mad. Okay. So I have been like, do you know, um, the creator, uh, YouTube creator, just Ann or Annie, just Ann, just Annie. So she posted a, a, a glossy box. The Fanny? Annie, yeah. Just Annie or just Ann? Oh, just Ann. Yeah. So she she had a, a uh, I can't remember, it was glossy box and, and another box opening she did earlier this um, this week. Um, and I posted on there, I was like, and it was, a, the second box is one I'd not heard of. And I was like, man, I said, I'm actually looking for another box. I said, glossy box really made me mad. I said, and I'm, I, once my subscription is done, I'm like, unless they wow me with my last few months, I'm, I'm like, they, so what happened was, um, are you a glossy box subscriber? I was. <laughs> You know how it works. You know, you can either do one month, three months, six months, or, you know, and you're locked in, right? And so what you have to do, if you want to change your subscription, if you want to go from one month to three months to get the discounts or three months to six months to get the discount, you have to cancel your subscription and yeah. then and then resubscribe. It's weird how that you have to contact customer service and they have to cancel you. And then you can change it up. So I, I did that in June. I had originally subscribed for three months. And it was um, March, April. No. It was April, May, June. Um, and I, yeah, because I think I, at the very end of March, subscribed. So I got April, May, June. June was my third month. And I was due for renewal. And I said, no, no, cancel me. Because I'm like, I want to do six months. It'll take me through the end of the year. So they canceled me. And, um, once they, they said, okay, you've been canceled, you know, blah, blah, blah. So I went in, I, I resubscribed the, the six months and I said, I sent them a message and said, I would like very much for my first month to be July, please, because I've already received June. And I remember this video. Yes. I'm so mad. So it, the January. January. Yeah. So they send me, so the email says they're sending me a June box and I'm like, are you kidding me? I'm going to get another box. I'm like, I just got this box. So I'm like, okay. So it ends up being January. And I'm like, at first of all, I was mad. I'm like, I told you guys not to do this until July. And you said, yes, no problem. So I get an email back the first email is garbage. And I'm like, did you guys even read my email? And the second email is uh, kind of meh. And, and that, and that, cause then I'm like, well, they have, if you look on their website, if you subscribe for six months, which is what I did, you get a free box. So I'm like, maybe the January mm -hmm. box was my free box, but why would you send me an email telling me it was the June glossy box? <laughs> like, it dispatched email says it was another June glossy box, but I get a January. So anyway, and so I'm like, so I'm arguing back and forth with them. And, and you know, I'm like, well, I'm, I'm not happy about this. I'm like, I told you guys not to send me one and mm -hmm. send me something in July. And she finally is like, well, that is not how it works. We do not do that. You don't get to dictate in a blah, blah, blah. I mean, I got this like nasty gram back and I was like, wow. Why? And I said to her, well, that's, why would you say yes? No problem. It's okay. We'll start you in June. It's no problem. And then turn around and tell me we don't do that. You're just going to have to deal with it. I mean, I was, I'm just mad. I'm like, none of this makes sense. You guys are giving me all these lies. No. You know, they're, you're lying to me. It's like, you look on the messages on my account and you'll see where I emailed them. Customer service responded and said, sure. That's no terrible customer service. It's terrible. I'm like, I'm la I'm so mad about it. I'm laughing. I'm like, and it's every single email is a different person in customer service. And I'm like, seriously? Yeah. 
they're no, nobody's on the same page. I think that's what happened to me. Um, so, so yeah, I did the three months. I'm trying to think. I did the three months, got the free box, and then I wanted to um, do the same thing. I wanted to move to the six month. And it all went down. It was like, a, yeah, it was like, I, I didn't get the discounted rate or some, something happened where I didn't get the discounted rate. I got like a repeat box and I tried to get in contact with customer service as well. And I couldn't get through to anybody. And I just ended up canceling. I just was so unhappy that I just buy glossy box. And I, the stuff they were sending me was, I mean, I'm, I don't want to tear down a brand, but um, I just wasn't happy with what I was receiving. And that's funny because my friend, I was, I was pretty happy with it because, yeah, I mean, compared to Ipsy, I thought it was pretty good. And I was like, I actually like some, you know, um, so I'm actually going to sign in and read you this email, Sharissa. You're going to be like, wow. Because it's like the level of <laughs> rudeness is stunning. Like in the fact that they're, and they're, it's like, it's pretty clear they're clueless. It's like, really? Um. So I got to find this one. Okay. So my cancellation email was June 10th. Um, and I said on June 10th, which was when I canceled and then I said, I would like to change my subscription. I have it set to auto renew for three months subscription. I would like to change. Do I need to cancel before changing my subscription? And they're like, Oh, and we're so sorry to hear you want to end your journey with us. I, we turned off your auto renewal to insert no further payment, you know, blah, blah. Is there any particular reason for the cancellation today? I'm like, did you read what I wrote? I'm canceling so that I can resubscribe for six months. So that and I'm like, wow. Okay. So that, that just made me laugh, but you know, I'm like, okay. <laughs> it's an automated, it's a robot. <laughs> Yeah. And then I said, um, oh, and I missed it. So, somewhere in here, it was like, hmm, hang on. I don't like their message center. Like trying to read your messages is a little confusing. Um, so sorry, I want to end it, blah, 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 blah. And then I'm trying to find the one where I said I'd like it to be in, you know, my first one to be in July. They probably freaking deleted it, jerks. Um, Okay. Product information. Maybe it's this one. Oh, no. So anyway, I don't, they deleted that out of my box, but um, I said, um, I received a box this past weekend. It looks like it was a January box. I'm a little confused as to why I got the January box. My subscription is supposed to start in July. See previous message. Um, and so it says, thanks for getting in touch. I'm sorry to hear you're not happy with the contents received. I can cert confirm we have different variations of the box each month. I'm like, really? Well, why does it say january on it then yeah Jan. i mean so they're not that just the name of the box yeah so it says i can confirm we have different variations of the box each month therefore the products might vary slightly from your friend or family member who subscribes to glossy box all our subscribers will receive at least five products with good value we try the best to tailor the boxes to your beauty profile we cannot guarantee every product will be perfectly suited i apologize for the disappointment caused hannah I said, I specifically emailed glossy box customer service when I subscribe and said, I do not want the box in June. I wanted my subscription to start in July. That is why I do not understand why I was sent a January box in June. <laughs> I don't want one of my subscription months to happen in June. Please look back at my previous messages and you'll see that I didn't want a box until July. I'm very disappointed in glossy box. She says, thanks for getting in touch. Apologies about the previous email. There was some confusion. Your first box had already been generated when you originally contacted us. We did send you a mystery box as the June edition had sold out. As a goodwill gesture, I can offer you three pounds, British pounds, glossy credit. Let me know if you'd like that. Stay glossy, Christy. <laughs> so it's been Hannah and Christy. <laughs> um, so Look you know, fantastic. did that to me? Yeah. Well, it's, yeah. So, so that's another weird one. And then 
So there's another one. Oh, here's yep. the one. So here's the one where I said, hi, I just subscribed for the six month plan. I would like my plan to start for the month of July. Thank you. And then they reply back the next day. Thank you for getting in touch about your glossy box beauty subscription six months. I can confirm the first box will be the one of July. Kind regards, Vicky. Um, yeah. And then this is what I told them to read. And so then they say, so then in July 1st, cause I'm like, what the heck you guys told me that it was no problem. Um, thank you for getting in touch with glossy apologies about the previous email. There was some confusion. Your first box has been generated. Um, you know, blah, blah, blah. The glossy, the June edition has sold out. Goodwill offer. I'll give you three pounds, British pounds of glossy credit. That was Christy. And then I said, this is a glossy box problem. You did not read my email when I sent it and chose to reply a day later. I sent my email within five minutes of subscribing. And then you replied, it would be fine to start the subscription in July. Just July. Jeez, I'm sorry. July. So then this is where they get snarky. Thank you for getting in touch with glossy. I can confirm this is not a glossy box error as it is not stated on the website that you can contact us and choose when to start a subscription. We do not offer that service. If there's anything else you can do, please do not hesitate to get in touch with the members of our team, Sarah. I'm like, wow. <laughs> well, that wow, she's so, like, she's, 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 box got a, um, she's saucy. I, I'm just like, okay. Why would you say no problem? We'll start you in July. They should have said, I'm sorry, we don't offer that. They, they led me down a false road. They lied the first time or they're lying the second time. I don't know, but they're lying. And I'm just, I'm annoyed. I'm like, you don't. Maybe you should try something different. And then I'm like, because if you go on the Glossy Box website, right, if you subscribe for a six month plan, you get a, a, a free box. There was a, it was a deal that was going on you know, um, early in July. I'm not sure if it's still going on, but whatever. Um, I but, think it's uh, always going on. Yeah. Yes. I think it's, I think it's standard. So then I'm like, well, if, if the January box was supposed to be my free box, then we don't really have a problem except for the fact that you guys called it the June box and it was a January box and it was actually my free box. <laughs> I don't know. I, I just, I mean, I don't mean to like blow it out of proportion, but I really think that these subscription boxes, there's so many of them and it's very competitive and I don't think they should be being that terrible to customers. And I mean, it's, it could be, it could um, be way worse. I mean, you hear about a lot of ones that aren't, they're charging you and they're not shipping and they're using COVID and the response, you know, oh, the COVID situation, we can't send boxes out right now. So it is, I appreciate these ones that can and do and, um, you know, there are definitely some crooked boxes out there, but I don't, you know, this is a, this is a rough market and I, I don't know. I just don't think they should be quite that rude. No, nobody should be rude to their customers like that. Yeah. So, but I do. Especially in a pandemic. I mean, we're giving you money. Right. Give us something to use. Well, all I'm asking. If is you're going to give us an ish brush. Yeah. Give us some lipstick to go with. Yes. Um, no, but I, like I like in the boxes. I, I appreciate these boxes. The quality of these boxes is is really quite nice. And I I generally have liked my boxes, but I'm like, you know, you, you see it on social media. People are pretty much complaining about some of the long term subscribers of BoxyCharm are complaining they're getting repeats. I'm like why are you subscribed to the same subscription box for three years straight? Give me a break. You know, you got to take gonna, a break and move on to something different. Yeah. Try something else. Like, of course you're going to get repeats. They can't not repeat eventually. Like I have, have you gotten the Ico brand um, mascara? Ico? I've gotten like six Ico mascaras because they all give it, you know, um, is it black? Is it yeah. like an, is it a black um, uh, blue case? Black, black and blue. Um, yes. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it very well known. And actually, I got an Ico liquid um, eyeliner, and I really like it. I really like it. But like, you're gonna get duplicates. I mean, there's only so many products that 
the beauty you know brands are going to be willing to provide deeply discounted to to these subscription boxes to to put in these boxes so you're going to get repeats and you know i mean how hard you know it's it's going to be hard for for like a place like boxy charm if you've been subscribed to them for like 36 months that's a lot of <laughs> i mean there's only so much they can do to not start repeating product you know what i mean <laughs> so i don't think it's fair of people like i don't intend to be a glossy box subscriber for for three years you know i figured nine months that's good I'll try something else. That's why I switched up my Ipsy. I used to just get the Ipsy glam yeah. bag. Yeah. And then I got tired of the squeezy tube. So now I'm on the plus. <laughs> the squeezy tubes. I love it. Yeah. I, at the beginning of the year, I think I subscribed for 12 months for the regular base glam bag. So I'm getting until the end of this year, I'm getting a lot of squeezy tubes, but I did, I did do, as you know, the, the plus box or whatever. Yeah. The squeezy tubes, the needle is squeezy tubes. <laughs> the dry yep. is crazy because they're all over the, the, the bathroom. <laughs> but the nice thing is I can try it a few times and then I get rid of it, but yeah. So anyway, I'm going to be getting yeah. it till the end of the year, if not January, and then I'm not renewing that, but I'm, I am getting their, as you know, I'm getting their, you know, the, what do they call it? Glam big plus, I think the box, I think that's a pretty good deal. But even then, I think, I think once that subscription is done, I might be done with Ipsy for a while because you know, all these menu, um, subscription boxes, they generally have a pretty set group of beauty suppliers they work with so yeah. they start to repeat themselves like the don't get me wrong i i do love um the perlis brand but there's been a number of boxes that have been giving these out now i really enjoy this i do yep i really enjoy this company's product so i'm not complaining about them but you know they're you do start to get, and the hot one right now is clearly spongella or spongella, yeah. however you say that, because that's, that's, spongele. yeah, spongele. So, I mean, but you know, the Ico, I, I've been getting the Ico stuff. I think Ipsy was giving me Ico about twice a year. Ico mascaras like twice a year. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. So anyway, but. Do um, you hear about Target? Which one? The Target Beauty Box. Did you hear about them? What's going on? I mean, I know about them. I look at it every quarter or so to see if it's interesting. Are they suspending it? Well, I received, I received, um, I want to say it's July's because I ordered it right away in July. And because it sells out because it's like $7. It sells out yeah. really, really fast. Yeah. Um, but apparently this is the last one. Okay. I did hear that. Yeah. Which is a shame. We'll see. And Maybe I recorded a video on it and I don't even think I'm going to edit or upload it because it's the last one. Yeah, I know. Yeah. It says say farewell to beauty box. But it says it's ending to make it their way for something new. So what does that mean? It says it's ending to make way for something new. I don't know. So they've got maybe they they're gonna do a plus. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, I know. Well it says so it says I'm on their website. It says say farewell to beauty box. Um in with the new, after years of helping you discover your favorite new products, our beauty box program is ending to make way for something new. There's more to try. And then they've got two things. They say beauty minis. Sample sizes are the perfect way to discover that, that new product that you can't live without. And then the next thing is saying, it says beauty gift sets. Explore our gift sets filled with top selling and buzzworthy products at a, a nice price. So I'm not sure if that's what their plan is. Um but it does say the Target Beauty Box Beauty Trendsetters, it still shows available for shipping at $7. So they're still okay. it, it looks like. Um, yeah, and it looks like there's a Lumify. Um, 
so yeah i mean it, it looks like they're still it hasn't sold out so they must be really i don't know i don't know maybe i should just edit and upload it but i was like because i didn't know at the time of the making of the video that anything was going on i think i got it right when they announced so is this is this the products in it? it looks like Bausch and Lomb Lumify um, eye drops, um, mm -hmm. P fresh sea mineral pro prebiotic deodorant, um, waterless yep. something or another. <laughs> I have to zoom in. Okay, so that is the box. It looks like they're still claiming you can order it. So yeah, I think you should. Those shower sheets that looks interesting. <laughs> Um, yeah, I've got it right here. Yeah. Biodegradable cloths. I mean, I don't know. It's interesting for $7. Yeah. You should upload it. And yeah, I'm curious. Cause to me, it speaks camping all over. Like, right. Go camping. Shower sheets. <laughs> right. <laughs> deodorant. Biodegradable deodorant. <laughs> Biodegradable shower sheets, some prebiotic food thing that keeps <laughs> sick. Yeah, that's cute. I mean, oh yeah, this right I, here. Um, right here. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So I'll make it. I'll edit. I'll build it. I just didn't know at the time of making that it was like. Yeah. Oh well. Everybody's we'll learning. see what they have, though. I'm excited then. Yeah, for sure. Well, we're coming on three hours, lady. I think that's pretty uh, pretty crazy. So <laughs> we should probably, it's 10 o'clock where I live. So I need to like think about going to bed. But um, let's do this again. And we can chat via text or message online or whatever and kind of figure out a date and what we okay. want to talk about um because i'm expecting to start getting all my my boxes and once those start coming in i start you know obviously filming because you got to keep uploading i mean you got to keep uploading to keep your uh your cpm rate up to keep everybody excited so um yeah but as a hosting gift this is my gift to you you can have the lip set, oh, lippy. I am definitely sending you this. And I feel like you might, where'd it go? Oh, I, I stuck it in here. Um, are you interested in this one? Oh God, it's all mirrored. You're not gonna be able to read it. It's Girl Girlactic. It's another really pretty highlighter. Maybe you got it. So I'm gonna add. Try to not ruin the box and gently pry it open. It's a it's a full size. Maybe you got this one. Did you get this one? Um, or did you see it? Um, uh, ooh, this one? Oh no, I haven't seen that yet. That one I want to send you because that one is it's called Skin Glow. Um, yeah, it's pretty. It's a duo set. Um, and then that other one. I stuck it in here and I did uh, um, the highlighter, the pretty champagne highlighter. I think you, you probably would use that. Wouldn't you? I'll send oh, you I love highlight. Yeah. Yeah. I can't, I think it fell. To the, oh, and you were, remember these? <laughs> Look what I found. Yep. Those. <laughs> yeah. They're, you know, we went on a cruise last year and it's, it's legit. Uh, like you can't get plastic straws. They only have paper straws. So, oh, here it is. Here it is. And so this champagne is so pretty. It's so, it's such a beautiful, you can tell it's sparkly. Uh, so I'm going to send you that too. So we'll exchange um, addresses and we'll, we'll send each other some goodie bags. I like this idea okay. of ordering something kind of random. I do like that. I think that's really fun. Like this mystery bundle was kind of fun. Um, you know, I got me some some slippers <laughs> uh, and a, a retractable lip brush. Um, but so I want to. I think I, I have some ideas. If you're still up for doing something kind of fun like this, um, I'm wondering if we can like 
Well, there's a couple ideas I have. So I have I have some ideas and I'll run them by you um, by like text message or email or something because this is kind of, you know, it's kind of fun to do okay. something a little random. Um, but we should also just plan on scheduling our Ipsy versus Ipsy. We'll do that again, right? Yeah, let's do Ipsy versus Ipsy. And I also am a boxy charmer now too. So oh, yeah. um, I wonder when you'll get it <laughs> because they don't want to like, I don't want to. And like I use. I think I long. used your affiliate code. Oh, I used your affiliate you. code. Yay! Thank you. I yes. really appreciate. It. So, I wonder when you'll get yours because that ships throughout the whole month. So, um, I may end up unboxing mine. Just I have to keep content going on my channel, but I want to see yours. Yeah. So, if you want to do that, I I will be like, <laughs> it's a fun box. Okay. And. Did you yeah. see my? Did you see what I did? Did you see what I did? I, I got premium too. <laughs> so, and not only am I oh, subscribed yeah. to, so not only am I subscribed to Base Box uh, and Quarterly Boxy Lux. Now I'm also getting <laughs> Boxy Premium each month. So I do. I'm going to get two boxes each month. I'm going to get Boxy and Boxy Premium. So um, I feel like our choice days are coming up here um yeah monday and tuesday next week i believe our choice days to like the one or two items we get to pick um okay so thank you for there. the reminder because yeah. i'm like it's hard. driving all the time <laughs> so i forget about all these dates you know? I know i'm having to put them in my um my my little phone calendar because it's like everybody's different it's like ipsy you got to choose by what is it the 24th of june was our our july mm -hmm. ipsy pick and so it's i think they're always the 24th um so i mean it, it gets you really have to like set an entire planner or calendar and pop-up reminders because otherwise you can miss all the good choices you know yeah it's a lot it's a lot of information to remember well i'm sad i didn't get to give this away to anybody well but it's another um, i know me too i i was gonna do what we did last time and like grab things out of the bag and fill up a box and um yeah so i'm kind of sad we can, can we plug this into another um unboxing or could we extend this video giveaway until um for other people maybe to to jump on and yeah, watch the video saying, but, uh, maybe we um you know maybe you you do uh you're on instagram you're on uh youtube so maybe <clears throat> you know you do a certain number of days and tell people you got to follow you on YouTube. You got to follow you on Instagram, give them two weeks or something and have them. A lot of people will, you know, like provide some sort of um, proof via Instagram or something, and then they're entered to win. So yeah, I think I certainly I'll take it. <laughs> no, but I, I think it's um, you're at what? 30 something subscribers. Yeah. You're, you're on your way to 50. I mean, you're getting there. So that's a nice, nice thing. Um, you know, I know you got a big plan for 50, but I don't know. There's a, yeah. a million things you can do. Maybe it's on the next live stream. I think, I think we just needed to give this one a little more, um, a little more. Okay. <laughs> so maybe I'll, um, we can extend this giveaway to the today's the the eighth, right? Yep, the eighth. So by next Friday, the seventeenth, um, I'll check this live stream again for the comments. Uh, let's see. Um, and then whoever comments in the video, they have to be subscribed. They have to like the video and comment with their favorite emoji and their favorite product from the editor box. And then we'll just do a random comment picker. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. So I will. Um, that work? 
Yeah, after this processes, um, send me the, the verbiage you want me to put um, in the description box for the giveaway based on okay. what you said. And I'll add that in. Once this process is through on YouTube, um, we'll add that in because I always <laughs> to go in and add a little bit in there. Um, and then they'll know. You know. Okay. Perfect, right? And I put this in here. Comment below for the giveaway. Make sure you follow Sharissa's instructions. <laughs> there we go. So yeah, all right. Well, this was fun, and we did it. We did um, over three hours again. Hey, I meant to ask you: Are you seeing any like? Because this, the first live stream we did, is getting some repeated views. Are you getting hours spikes at all? Are you getting anything from that? Um, I I only checked. Um, 48 hours after the last live. Oh, you haven't so I haven't. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I have been working so many hours. I haven't even had a chance to really even look. Like, if I think about it when I'm on my half hour lunch break or my hour, I have an option. I could take two half hour lunches or one hour. And then I have a chance to think right. <laughs> in my car because I'm two out. Well, Technically, I'm only 40 minutes away from home, but it takes me two hours to get home. <laughs> hey. So, <laughs> California. So, I spend a lot of time driving. I don't have, have a lot of phone time. Like, unlike a lot of other people right now, they have more time to look. But I'm going to check again from the last time we went. I'm going to check the analytics from that 48 hour time frame. So, I'm using um, YouTube studio on my phone to look at that yeah. um it says it has 74 views and the analytics say that there's 5,000 watch hours wow we had a few more people watching <laughs> last time but you know it's because it's getting <laughs> repeated you watch so um yeah it was in the last four you know it's it's a little jumpy mm -hmm. Um, yeah, but um, yeah, you know, the views kind of drop down. We had the spike for the live stream and then it kind of jumps when people are looking at it. But yeah. yeah, the content's old. It was Ipsy versus Ipsy for June and the content's old now. So I don't really expect too many people um, watching it again. Um, but the average view duration was like an hour and nine minutes, 10 minutes. So that's pretty good. But yeah, oh, I'm, I'm curious. Cool. Um, yeah, I would like to know like what your, if your analytics, because you should get, you will get for the live stream, like right now you'll get views for, you know, you'll get whatever, you know, we've had one or two or three people on here periodically. So you'll get, you know, various, actually it should show up. If you, do you have this on your phone? I do. So Bring up your analytics. Go to your channel's All watch right. hours, and you should you should get a um, a spike. See, well, mine's mine's jump. Mine has a lot of weird stuff on it. Mine looks a little spammy, but um, now we've been clearly more than the last hour. But here's my live stream spike. It says watch time six minutes. <laughs> You know, and we've been on for obviously more than 60 minutes, but. Here we go. In the last. Here we go. Is that the 48 hours? So can you change mm -hmm. it to 60, 60, like real time 60 minutes? Looks like you're getting some time in here, which is great. That's what we're here for. Let's see, real time, 48 hours. Where's real time? Oh, there it is, real time, 60 minutes. Yeah, they buried oh. it up. Does it look like this? <laughs> oh, okay, that's weird. That's weird. <laughs> Hopefully it shows up. So next time I think you should host because you need some watch hours and this will get you some watch hours. So okay. good time and a date, have you um, set it up through StreamYard and then, um, you know, we'll, we'll post it out on both of our channels and it'll be good. 
Sounds good. I just wish I knew my schedule more ahead in advance. Um, I get that. That's life right now. So. Exactly. Hey, I got a job during the pandemic, so. Very true. Can't complain. Can't complain. Bills. <laughs> I'm still playing with my my um, slippers because they're super soft. <laughs> so super soft. I love it. Turning my light off glares bad. Before you go, I want to show you my little um, my little YouTube or YouTube purchase on the cheap for um, from Amazon, and it's my little <laughs> it's it's a little microphone. My uh, Alexa was talking because you said her name. Yeah. <laughs> it's a, it's a oh, so it's like a little microphone? Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. It's uh, it's just a plug and play. It just plugs in via USB. And I'm, it's that's why I'm like, can you hear me? Are you sure you can hear me? Because I wasn't sure how it was working, but it's pretty cool. Because my microphone, yeah. my, my laptop isn't great. So it, I don't know. Well, I'm using my son's laptop right now and it sounds okay. Yeah. 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 So I don't know. This was just a, everybody's like, oh, you need to get a standalone one. They work great. I'm not sure this is the best choice, but it was super cheap. So it had good reviews. <laughs> It did. It had at great first. I thought it was. Uh -oh. This is. Um, oh my gosh! My little, my little zebra phone holder. Yeah. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> He's cute. That's hilarious. When I film on my phone, this is what I use. I've got like various selfie sticks, and this is my one of my go-to favorites for out and about but yeah so anyway i did get a a little microphone Hello. that's cool <laughs> so it's a little intimidating having it like right there in my face so he's off to the side so i don't know should i be any closer <laughs> i don't know but it it, it was easy literally that's cool plugged it into the USB port on my computer and that was it. So boom, boom. So Simple. all right, lady, it's time to go. Well, thank all everybody. Right. Thanks Denise and sharpshooter. Oh, Estina Nicole was in here. Um, so thanks to her. And then don't forget Zula machine travels from South Africa was in here as well. So uh, appreciate everybody who stopped by and a uh, little shout out to them as well. And uh, thank you, Sharissa, for being my guest. And don't forget to send me your details on where I can send a, a goodie bag for you. I'm going to do that. It'll probably. Yes, we'll exchange information. Yeah, yeah. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So good night, everybody. Thank you, Sharissa. Make sure if you're watching this, subscribe to our channels, leave comments below. Sharissa's got uh, a really awesome giveaway going on. So we will see you guys on the next video. Right, Sh right, Sharissa? Ooh. That's right. Somebody's going to win this editor box. I know it. I just know it. That's I'm excited box. to give this away. Thank you so much again for having me on with you tonight. It was really, really fun um, filming with you, visiting, having a happy hour, um, just me time. Cause like, then I go back to work tomorrow. So this is, this is perfect. It was absolutely wonderful. Figuring out what and yeah, some mysteries. <laughs> It's a mystery bundle, so and I appreciate you coming on. We'll do this, and I think we could try to get a more like regular schedule. By regular schedule, I mean maybe twice a month or something, as your you know our, our schedules can mesh. And but I yeah I, I would love to do at least monthly Ipsy versus Ipsy. I think that's awesome. It's fun. Yeah, that would be fun. Yeah, so it's fun. Hopefully, hopefully that'll be uh, if not the next live stream, the one following. We'll see how we can. I still want to do the. 
the uh, <laughs> how to apply the the caterpillars as they call them. Yes, they're so pretty. They're so pretty. We'll do yeah, that. Yeah, I so. need to learn how to do those. <laughs> I don't know why I'm scared of lashes, but I'll I'll, I'll get past that. No, I I uh, the fear is real. I get the concept because I was like myself. So, absolutely. So, all right, lady, have a good night. Stay healthy. Stay beautiful. I will see you on the next one. And above all, stay awesome. <laughs> stay awesome. Bye. Uh, all right. Good night, everybody. <laughs> Good night. All right. I